so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Flippy! Hey, it's me, Flippy! And today, we're here at the Kogan Family Aquatic Complex in San Diego, California. And guess what we get to do today? Scuba diving! <laughs> I just love the water! <laughs> oh, and don't forget, before getting into the water, always ask a grown-up. Hi, Blippi. Jason is a scuba instructor. Whoa, <laughs> and it looks like there's a lot of scuba equipment here. <laughs> so Jason, what's the first thing we need to know before we go diving? Well, Blippi, the first thing we need to do is get our wetsuits on. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're wearing wetsuits. Whoa, Jason, why is it important to have a wetsuit? Well, one, we want to stay warm when we're in the water. And also, we want to protect ourselves from any stings or any animal encounters we may come across. Whoa! <laughs> this is a pretty cool wetsuit, and it has two of my two favorite colors. Yeah! Orange and blue! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, and check it out! Scuba gear! <laughs> What's all this? This is our main scuba kit. This is what we're going to use to breathe underwater. Whoa! Check it yeah. out! Look! There's a big tank on the back. Does yeah. this hold the air? This holds all the air that you're gonna need underwater. Ooh, <laughs> look, yeah. and it's the color blue. Ooh, yeah. oh, and what are these? These are called regulators. We oh. always have a set of two for extra safety for you or a buddy. Oh, <laughs> one for me and one for my buddy. <laughs> my blippy buddy. Yeah. yeah, and you see, looks like there's a mouthpiece, right? There is, that's what we breathe the air from the scuba tank with. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to breathe underwater and go scuba diving. Whoa, <laughs> and what's this? This big jacket piece is what we call a BCD, a, a buoyancy compensator device. Whoa, a B, C, D, buoyancy compensator device? <laughs> Whoa. So this helps us with our positioning in the water. So we can sink, we can float, or we can maintain buoyancy right in the middle. No way, this vest helped us sink? and it helps us float. <laughs> it takes Whoa. air from the scuba tank and inflates and deflates in the vest. Oh. If you want to try it, Blippi, hit that gray button right there. Okay, <laughs> let's try. Check it out. It's inflating and floating. And then, <laughs> oh look, it's deflating. I bet that would help us sink. <laughs> yes, it would. Oh. Well, what else are we gonna need? The other thing we're gonna need is our mask. Oh. Ooh, look, I have an orange one. Hello. <laughs> this helps us see things underwater, like animals and other marine life, and it also keeps all the water out of our eyes. Oh, that would be so cool to see animals underwater while you're in the water. Ooh, <laughs> Anna has a nose. <laughs> hmm. and That's the, pretty cool. <laughs> the last piece of gear that we have are fins. Ooh, check it out. These fins? help us swim in the water like a fish. <laughs> one fin? Two fin! Oh! And you put these on your feet? That we do, yes. Oh yeah, look. You put your foot right in there, and then you can swim like a fish, or like a shark, or like a mermaid! Whoa! <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> that, it, it's very fun. Well, I think it's time we get all suited up and get in the water. Let's do it. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> We're wearing scuba diving gear. Whoa! <laughs> I am so excited and ready to start swimming with the scuba gear. <laughs> but Jason, what happens if water gets in my mask? Oh, it's okay. We can get the water out of the mask really easily. Ooh. All we need to do is we put some pressure on the top of our mask. We're gonna look up real high and we're gonna blow out of our nose. And that'll drain the water out the bottom. Oh, <laughs> that's really handy. Uh, but what happens if water gets inside our regulator? If the regulator comes out of your mouth, we can put it back in and clear the water in it by two ways. One, we can do a big exhale like a snorkel. Whoa. Exactly. <laughs> I can do that. The other option is we can hit this button here. It's called the purge button. Whoa. And it blows air and clears that water out. <laughs> Check it out. It's called the purge button. It purges all the water out of the regulator. Whoa. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's fun. Can we try them? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay, I'll see you underwater. <laughs> Job. Whoa, this is so much fun. Oh, I feel like I could swim just about anywhere. <laughs> are there other places you can scuba dive? Absolutely. Other than a pool, all of the oceans are available for scuba diving. Oh, that sounds so amazing. Can you imagine seeing an animal in the water while you're in the water with it? <laughs> have you seen any of your favorite animals? I have. I saw a whale one time. <laughs> a whale, whale. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> I love whales. <laughs> so in the ocean, we can see so many interesting creatures. We can see colorful fish. We can see sea lions and seals, really giant sea kelp and seaweed, and also a lot of different types of lobsters and crabs. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, I think I'd like to do a little more swimming. Do you think we could try some? Next level adventures? I think you're ready for some aqua adventures. Want to give it a shot? Okay, aqua <laughs> adventure time! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I'm so excited to go on my very own aqua adventure. <laughs> so Jason, what are we gonna do first? The first aqua adventure we're gonna do is an underwater obstacle course. Ooh, an obstacle course underwater? <laughs> that sounds great. So on the bottom of the pool, there's a series of hoops, different sizes and shapes and colors, and you're gonna swim through them. And to help you practice your turning, there's gonna be a rope in the middle of it that you can practice turning around. Oh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> I can't wait to swim through all the colorful hoops and practice my turning. <laughs> and it's a great practice for buoyancy, right? Ooh. We don't wanna to float too much or sink too much. So we wanna be right in the middle so you can go right through those hoops. <laughs> awesome, this sounds so fun. I think I'm ready to jump in. Are you Let's, ready? I'm ready, let's do it. Okay, <laughs> here we go. See you soon. <laughs> Great job, Whoa. Flippy. Wow, did you see? I went through all the colorful hoops and did the obstacle course. <laughs> so Jason, what are we gonna do next? So the next aqua adventure we're doing is an underwater scavenger hunt. Who oh, no knew way, an underwater scavenger hunt? <laughs> I love scavenger hunts, but I've never done one underwater. Whoa. <laughs> so I placed a lot of colorful items on the other side of the pool. You're gonna go around and collect them and put them in the nearby black basket. Oh, okay, well keep your eye out. We're gonna find all the colorful objects and then we're gonna put them in the black crate at the bottom of the pool. Whoa. And there's one big and, and obstacle. It's the very heavy object that I'm gonna need your help with. Whoa, that sounds super heavy. Hope we can lift it. We're gonna use a lift bag, which means we're gonna use air from our scuba tank to put into the bag and it's gonna help lift the heavy object. <laughs> Oh, that sounds amazing! I guess we'll have to start right away. I'll see you down there. See you soon.
Whoa, we did it! We finished the scavenger hunt and lifted the kettlebell. <laughs> Thanks, Jason, that was so fun. <laughs> you're welcome, Blippi. You did so great today. I think you're ready. Let's hit the ocean and I'll let you explore. <laughs> no way! We get to explore the ocean? <laughs> well, I am ready. <laughs> Let's go! Let's do it. I had so much fun learning how to scuba dive with you. And I sure love swimming in the pool. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>me, Blippi! And today, we are here at Cambridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana! <laughs> and I want to get some healthy exercise! Hey, why don't we play some basketball? I love basketball! Come on! <laughs> I am so excited to be playing basketball with you today. <laughs> yeah, I love basketball. <laughs> but I'm especially excited because this isn't a regular basketball court. It's a special one because the Indiana Fever practice here. <laughs> yeah, and look at their logo. Whoa, it is so colorful. <laughs> we have the color red, the color blue, the color white, and the color yellow! <laughs> Whoa! But do you see what I see? <laughs> yeah! It's the basketball hoop! Come on! Whoa! Look at it! <laughs> I can't believe we are so close to a basketball hoop that is shot at by the Indiana Fever! <laughs> oh, look! We have the hoop and the net which hangs down and Look at the rectangle behind it. Yeah, the rectangle. That's called the backboard. And the shot clock. Woo! <laughs> oh, I really want to play some basketball and make three pointers and layups. Whoa! It's professional basketball player Tamika Catchings. Hi, Tamika. I'm Hi, Blippi. Ah, <laughs> oh, wow. Would you like to play basketball together? I would love to play basketball with you. <laughs> Whoa, that would be so awesome. <laughs> but Tamika, is there anything we should do before we start playing? Of course, we need to stretch. <laughs> okay, let's start stretching. <laughs> well, what kind of stretches do you like to do before you play a game? Well, I always like to start off with my legs. Hey, I want to get my leg warmed up, and then I want to get my arms warmed up. So let's start with a, a short stretch, a small stretch. We'll have both of our legs together, feet together. Okay. And we're gonna bend over from our waist okay. and try to touch the floor. Try to go as low as you can go. Whoa, look, <laughs> I'm touching my toes. <laughs> and I love to count because counting is so important. So let's count to three. Okay, will you count to three with us? Okay, here we go. One, two, two 
three. <laughs> Whoa. Shake it out, shake it out. All right. <laughs> Good job stretching. <laughs> Play defense, your legs have to be spread apart, a little bit beyond shoulder width apart. Bend your knees and your arms out. All right, and your bottom half. Here we go. You ready for this? I'm ready. Flippy, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna go side to side. Let me get over. We're gonna go okay. side to side. Here we go. Cross the paint. Ready? Here we go. One. <laughs> Two. Let's go one more time. Three. Whoa! <laughs> Three defensive slides. That was awesome! <laughs> I think we're just about ready to learn more about playing basketball. <laughs> but is there anything else we're missing? Well, looking at our outfit, we need to get changed. <laughs> you ready for this? I'm ready. Here we go! Whoa, Tamika, you look great. You look amazing. Whoa, <laughs> we look all ready to play with the basketball. <laughs> Whoa, well, what should we do first? Well, I think we should. We'll start with dribbling, then we'll go to passing, and then we will finish with shooting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love shooting. Woo! I like Swish. that form, Libby. I like that form. Uh -huh. Okay, so how should we dribble? Well, I think the most important thing, when you start with dribbling, you have to use your finger pad. Not your palm, but your finger pad. All right? <laughs> so we're going to do three dribbles with our right hand using our finger pad. Snap your wrist. You ready for this? Let's do it. All right. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Whoa! And we did it with our right hand, so now we should try it with our left hand. <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Great. Oh, I love those dribbles. Okay. I love dribbling. You want to try something a little bit fancy? Yeah. Let's try something really fancy. All right, <laughs> we're going to do this really fast, but we're going to do crossovers. So we're going to not just keep it in one hand. We're going to go from one hand to the other hand, other hand, other hand. Okay, we'll try it. Five times. Five times. Five times. <laughs> okay. Five times. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, four five. five. Good job, Whoa! <laughs> Dribbling is so fun. Now it's time to move on to passing. I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna step, step, bounce. Whoa. Step, bounce. Good job, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa, this is fun. <laughs> and notice when you dribble or when you bounce the ball, it does not bounce right directly in the middle. It's a little bit beyond the middle part. All right, so okay. got to come right up. Boom. One more, Blippi. One more. Good Whoa, job. That you was fun. Go at this. And pass. <laughs> okay, here we go. Step and pass over our head. <laughs> Good job, Blippi. Whoa, I like this one. <laughs> you do? Why do you like this path? It's really fun. <laughs> Feels like there's a lot of power in your arms when they're above your head. And you can and pass it really you have far. big muscles too, so <laughs> that is our overhead path. Wow. So we did dribbling and we did passing. Hmm, what else did we forget? And we did defense. And defense. Shooting! <laughs> How can we forget shooting? Ooh, ooh, look at that form. All right, so I always like to say when I come to the gym, I want to start close. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start kind of close. All right, just getting the form together. Same thing, you talked about the finger pads on the dribble. Mm -hmm. We're almost going to do the same thing when we shoot. All right, so on the pad. Whoa! In the hoop. <laughs> Swish! <laughs> Didn't even use the backboard. Well, we're kind of close, so this is all about form shooting and okay. getting your form together. Ooh, can I try it? Of course you can. Okay, I'll try it over here on the left side. So, take my hand like this. Put it on your finger pads. There finger you go. Pads. And how should my arm be here? It should be 90 degrees. Okay. Got oh. the 90 degree angle? Yeah. And then you have your other, yep, right there. Oh, you just need. like an L. <laughs> That was Whoa. great! Good job, Blippi! Whoa. I made it! Well, what other kind of shots can we take? Hmm, well, you know what? Let's do a jump shot. So, if you okay. stay right there, I'll come up here and we'll do a jump shot. Most of the time when you get into a jump shot, it is about jumping. Obviously, <laughs> you gotta jump off the floor to shoot the shot. Okay, here we go. Are you First, ready? a chest pass. Whoa, Swish! 
it. <laughs> okay, and now it's my turn. Okay, here you you want to go on the same side? Yeah, I'm going to go on the same side over on the right. All right, you ready? Chest pass into a jump shot. Okay, here we go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Uh-oh, I missed, but that's okay. You just need a little more practice. <laughs> Let's take one more shot. Okay. I think you can do it. You ready? Try it again. Let's go, Blippi. Are you cheering, Blippi? Yeah. Come on, Blippi! <laughs> All right. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! It went in! <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> well, are there any other types of shots that we need to learn about? Well, I think it's important because not everybody gets to shoot out there. So sometimes you have to be able to shoot closer to the basket. I like the post up into a hook shot. Ooh, what's a post up into a hook shot? Well, most of the time, if you're one of the taller players, but even some of our guards get down here. We got the mean guards. <laughs> All right, if you get down, you take the ball, dribble, and a hook shot is when you take the ball over your head and hook it into the basket. Oh, All right, okay. Well, the ball goes into the basket. Then, Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that was really that good. Was awesome and great defense. I tried. I had my hands up. <laughs> okay. Right, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. You want to try so, it? So, for a hook shot, what's the first thing I need to do? Well, the first thing, so most of the time you're going to post up, right? So, you're going to be facing that way. Good okay. job. All right. Facing, facing this that way? way. So, then the ball is going to come to you. And I like to say, when the ball comes to me, I like to dribble, one dribble. You might need to do two dribbles. I okay. step with my left. My right leg comes up, and then I hook it in. Okay. All right, you ready to try it? I'm ready to try it. All right, here we go, Blippi. Let's go. Let's go, Blippi. <laughs> okay, first, I'll post up, and then dribble two times, step in, and <laughs> hook shot. But again, I need a little more practice. <laughs> Let's try oh, it again. Your that's your first time, though. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it's my first time. So if you miss on your first time, that's okay. You can just try again. <laughs> here we go. Remember, post up, dribble, dribble, dribble step. Oh, <laughs> well, uh oh, maybe I need a little more practice than two times. Wow, Tamika, you are a really good basketball coach. <laughs> well, we learned dribbling, and passing, and shooting, and I made a layup. <laughs> well, I think we're ready to play a game. Well, what do you think about playing horse? Whoa, I love the game horse. Do you know how to play horse? <laughs> Well, it's a game where one person makes a shot. And if they make it, the other person has to make the same shot. <laughs> but if they miss, they get a letter. And the first person to spell the word, they lose. <laughs> you don't want to spell the word. Hey, instead of playing horse and spelling horse, let's play Blippi and spell my name. <laughs> ah, you know what, Blippi? You are so creative. I love that. <laughs> Thanks. Well, let's play. So I've also been thinking, you've been practicing all day, and you are looking so much better. I think you're ready for the big show. The big show? <laughs> Let's meet today's players. Well, we just take the orange and blue. Your friend, Lee! And the East Smith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. and do a right hand layup. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> baby. Okay, here you go. All now right, it's Tamika's turn. Left side. Let's go off the backboard. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> that's a little tricky. <laughs> Left side, and now off the backboard. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Flippy. No letters yet. Let's keep playing. <laughs> All right, let's go for a free throw. Well, what's a free throw? Well, a free throw, a shot, right? It's a free shot that you normally get in the middle of the game. Oh. Somebody fouls you. Oh, put your arm out, you're shooting, 
I shoot, you hit my arm. Oh. The foul, I get to go to the free throw line. Uh-oh, I made a foul. <laughs> <laughs> Tamika's really good at that. <laughs> Let's see if I can make it, because I don't want to get a letter. <laughs> uh, uh oh, <laughs> I missed it. So that means I get the letter B. Yeah, B for Blippi. <laughs> good dribble. We've been working on it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I hope I make it. Oh, uh-oh, I missed again. That means I get an L. <laughs> okay, here goes Tamika. All right, Blippi, we're gonna bring it in a little bit, okay? <laughs> Thanks. Try to make it easy, off the backboard. Mm -hmm. You think you can hit that? You know what a backboard is? Yeah, the backboard. That's that big rectangle behind the hoop. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay, here we go. Good job, Blippi. Oh, yeah, we made it. Wait, don't get a letter. <laughs> Woo. Maybe we can try a silly shot. Oh! Let's try behind the backboard. We can try it. I don't want to break the clock though. Well, that's okay. <laughs> don't hit the clock. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I got a miss. I got to go after you. Okay. Now I get to pick what kind of shot we make. Hmm. Maybe a silly shot behind the back. Here we go. Oh! oh! <laughs> I made it! Oh, good job, that was a really you. tricky shot. That was good. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, uh -oh. I got a B. <laughs> okay, so Tamika has a B, and I have a B and an L. <laughs> okay, let's keep playing. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Tamika's really good at playing basketball. <laughs> Okay. It's okay to miss a shot because you can just take another one. But that also means I get an I. B L I. <laughs> How about underhand? We're gonna go to the NBA three-point line. This <sighs> We're gonna go underhand though. Okay. Brandy style. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> oh, a little bit too hard. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna try the same shot because it's a pretty tricky one. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Hey, I made it! Maybe we can make an even bigger shot! Whew. Maybe if we back up to half court, we can make a really, really, really big I shot! I like it! <laughs> okay, let's keep backing up. Here we go! Here we go, Blippi! Ah! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I missed! <laughs> this one is extra tricky! <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> good job. <Ooh. laughs> You're getting good at this. Oh. Practice. Oh, Practice. You, you are a really good coach, too. <laughs> oh, Whoa. no! Uh-oh! <laughs> I got a B L. A B L. And I have a B L I. Oh, it's getting really close. Kind of. <laughs> so we're gonna do a right-handed hook shot. Okay, a right-handed hook shot? <laughs> Whoa. But we're gonna get a pass from Boomer. Can I get a pass from Boomer? Yeah, let's get a pass from Boomer. <laughs> All right, Boomer. I'm open. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> Tamika made it. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna get a pass from Boomer. Got post up, post up. Whoa! Well, that looked a little bit different than my shot. Oh no, I forgot something. <laughs> Did I do a hook shot? Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> so I think I get another letter. I'll give you another chance. Oh, another chance? Yeah. Oh, that's nice of you. Yeah. Thanks. Post up. Okay. Ooh. And do you remember the kind of shot that I need to make? A hook shot. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> it was really close. <laughs> but I still get a letter. B. B. L. I. P. <laughs> Behind the backboard. 
Let's try it. Behind the backboard. I think we can get this one. You got it. Whoa! Hey! Wow! Did you see that? Whoa! <laughs> okay, now it's my turn. Oh! oh. <laughs> uh oh, I missed again. That means I get another letter. P again. B L I P P. Uh, we're still missing one letter. <laughs> Let's keep playing. <laughs> Whoa! That was great! Okay, my turn. Your turn. Let's go, Blippi! Oh! Uh oh! <laughs> uh -oh. <gasps> I get another letter! And that means B L I P P I! <gasps> Tamika wins! <laughs> uh, I think you look exhausted. You are sweating. We might need to take a hydration. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a hydration break and get some water. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that was so much fun playing basketball and really tiring. <laughs> You're really good at basketball. You must have played for a really long time. <laughs> well, it takes a lot of practice. <laughs> well, when did you start playing? I started playing basketball when I was in third grade. Whoa. But I've been around basketball almost my whole life because my dad played in the NBA. Oh, your dad played basketball? <laughs> that sounds so fun. <laughs> my dad, my brother, my sister, my mom, and me. Whoa, that's great. <laughs> well, how did you get into basketball? Well, one of the main things, and one of the main reasons I played sports, I was born with a hearing disability, so I wear hearing aids. But when I was younger, I got made fun of. And so sports was where I could go and practice and practice and get really, really good at something so people couldn't make fun of me. <laughs> Whoa, that's so great and really inspiring. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's important to find your passion. Oh, basketball is my passion, and I know that all of you have your own passion. <laughs> oh, I have a passion too. I love to dance. <laughs> oh, and I do have one other question. If I wanted to get better at basketball, or maybe if you want to become a professional basketball player, do you have any advice? I have a lot of advice, but I think the biggest thing is you have to set a goal. And once you set a goal, you have to practice, practice, and practice until you get tired. But even more importantly, that you have to make good grades. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds really important. Making good grades, practicing, and setting a goal. <laughs> do you know what a goal is? Yeah, a goal is something you want to do. And then you work really, really hard to do that goal. <laughs> Ooh, well, I had so much fun playing basketball and exercising with you. But do you know another way that is really fun to exercise? Dancing! <laughs> hey, Tamika, would you like to learn how to dance like me? Well, Blippi, I don't know. You're so good. But maybe I'll try my best. <laughs> okay, it sounds good. Let's learn to dance. Ooh. Okay, the first thing you need to know to dance like me is... Yeah, you gotta, gotta get warmed up. So move around. Ooh. Ooh. Do some stretching. Oh, but we already played basketball and stretched, so we're all ready to dance. Ooh. The second thing is you want to move your body just however you want, and you can even do dance moves. Maybe, you know, jiggly arms. <laughs> or, since we're playing basketball, dribbly arms. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I'm dribbling basketballs! <laughs> wow, that's fun. <laughs> Are you ready to dance together I'm, for real? I'm always ready. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Time to dance! <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun dancing! <laughs> Great Whoa. job, Tamika! Thank you, Blippi. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired. Whoa. I'm tired, too. Woo! I had a really good time with you today. Uh, I had a really nice time with you. Thanks so much for teaching me so many things about basketball and for being my coach. Oh, I don't know what to say. Uh, I might start blushing. Oh, <laughs> that's so nice. Oh, well, maybe we should try one more shot. You ready for it? I'm ready. All right, here we go. <laughs> you made it! <laughs> Whoa! I 
can't believe we got to play basketball with Tamika Catchings. <laughs> and we had a really fun day, learning about stretching and exercising and being really healthy. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great. B-L-I. P-P-I! Flippy! Good job! Well, I'll see you soon! <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey! It's me, Flippy! Yeah, look at what I'm doing! Whoa! I'm roasting a marshmallow. Yum! I'm gonna make a s'more! Yum! <laughs> yeah, tonight, I'm at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park in Escondido, California! I had a very healthy dinner. Now I get to make some dessert. <laughs> yep. And if you ever get to roast marshmallows, you definitely should be with a grown up, okay? Yeah, because fires are dangerous. But hey, I have something really cool to tell you. Yeah, this safari park has what's called a roaring snore. Yeah, it's a campground at this safari park. You can spend the night with the animals. Oh, look. The marshmallow is done! This is gonna be so yummy! Hey, should we go check out the tent? <laughs> yeah, let's go! Woo I am so excited to go to bed! Ooh, campsite 22! <laughs> Ooh, and good thing I just brushed my teeth. It is very important to brush your teeth before you go to bed. Wow, look at the tent! It looks so cozy! Hmm. Should we go inside and check it out? Yeah! <laughs> Look! Flippy bedtime stories. Do you ever read before you go to bed? <laughs> I do. I love reading before I go to bed. All right. I should probably get in the sleeping bag. So then after the story, I can sleep. <laughs> All right. Whoa! What a comfortable bed. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Flippy bedtime stories. <laughs> All right. <sighs> okay, let's see here. Page number one. <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a, a large and colorful zoo <laughs> with so many animals, different from me and you. <laughs> Some were big. <gasps> Others. <gasps> Others small. <laughs> Some. Some went squawk. <laughs> Some went squawk. <laughs> Some. <gasps> Some. Some went. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Flippy. What do you Flippy. do here? I work with the animals here. I'm a wildlife care specialist. And these are some of our animal ambassadors here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Wow, cool. And I know what kind of animal this is. This is a porcupine, right? Yes, this is an African crested porcupine. You can oh. see her crest right over her head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. Hello. And what's her name? Her name is Quilma. Oh, Quilma. Oh, maybe because it has a lot of quills? Yeah. Oh, really cool. They look really sharp. What are they made out of? These quills are actually made up of keratin, just like our hair and our fingernails. Oh, wow. Well, my hair isn't sharp like these, but I guess if they become very dense, then your hair and nails can be really sharp like these. Wow, what is she eating? So Quilma's eating some biscuits because Ooh. she has really sharp teeth uh -huh. and her teeth are always growing. So she eats a biscuit and it helps her to keep her teeth kind of a little bit shorter. Oh, that makes sense. So you and I, when we grow our teeth, they stop and then they're the size that they are. But Quilma, her teeth keep growing and growing and growing. And so she needs to eat things to trim them down to stay nice and short. Oh, she has some cute ears. Hey, Quilma. <laughs> wow. Ooh, and looks like the quills are white and black. 
Why is that? Well, there's a lot of predators in Africa, so Quilma has to protect herself. So when she feels frightened, she can lift up all of those quills and she looks a lot bigger than she actually is. Oh, wow. Cool defensive mechanism. Hey, and does she shoot out her quills? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people think she shoots her quills, but she doesn't. That'd be like us shooting our hair right off of our head. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> All right, <laughs> enjoy your snack. <laughs> Whoa, cool, another animal. Whoa, hey, who are you? Hi, my name's Nolani. Oh, nice to meet you, nice I'm to meet Blippi. You. Whoa, I know what kind of animal this is. This looks like a really big hedgehog. Ooh, that's a really good guess, but this isn't actually a hedgehog. Really? Right, instead it's an echidna, and they're native to Australia. Can you tell though? It kind of looks a little bit like Quilma, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Has those really sharp quills. Are those quills just like the porcupine? Another really good guess, but they're not quills. Instead, oh. they're actually spines. They do sort of the same thing though that Quilma's uh her quills do. Uh -huh. So instead, uh, they are attached to his body and they help uh, if a predator were to come and to bite down, try to make him lunch. Mm -hmm. um, they're just as pokey and it's not really fun to bite oh, into. Cool, mm -hmm. so another great defensive mechanism. Absolutely. Whoa, mm -hmm. it looks like his nose is really long. It is, so he can use that nose to sniff out bugs underground. And you can see right now he's eating a bug soup. Uh, uh -huh. So that's what we feed him here at the safari park. He's Ooh. also using that really long tongue of his to slurp it up. Ooh, mm -hmm. yum! Mm -hmm. So is this a mammal? It is a mammal. So this guy is a mammal, but he does a lot of things that other mammals don't really do. Really? Like so what? Instead, other females, not Shaw because he's a boy, uh, would actually lay eggs, which is really, really weird, right? Yeah. Most mammals don't do that. Instead, uh, they give birth and then they feed their babies milk. So these guys also feed their babies milk, but they lay a sort of soft, leathery egg, sort of oh. like other reptiles, but they're not. Um, and instead, that baby hatches, and it's born without any of these spines. They're really, really soft. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they're known as puggles. Puggles? Mm -hmm. That's a silly name. It is. That is really cool. I've actually never heard of a mammal that lays eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really There's cool. actually one other one that does. Oh, huh. mm -hmm. what one? The platypus. Whoa, I know what a platypus is. Yeah. Wow, that is so cool. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for teaching me about this animal. No problem. Yeah. <laughs>
Whoa! Yeah, so these animal's tongues are about the same length as, as a giraffe's tongue. But yeah. theirs are really sticky, so oh, all of are? those bugs will stick to their tongue. Oh, yeah, and it looks like they eat downward into the, the ground, holes, wood, while giraffes typically eat upward and try and grab leaves. <laughs> that is really cool. Oh, hey, you're really cool. Oh, and it looks like they have some claws or you. They nails. have really, really, uh, their claws and nails. And they use those to tear into things and they also use it for climbing. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So then they can wrap their hands around branches, maybe? Yeah. Do they live around the trees? They do. They spend a lot of their time up in the trees oh. and they use their tail as an extra arm or leg to climb. Whoa, that was really cool learning about them. Hey, what are their names? This is Cora and Cora is the, the mom of this baby and his name is Tatis. Oh, well, nice to meet you two. <laughs> I'm gonna go learn about the turtle or the tortoise. We'll find out. See you later. <laughs> Whoa! Hi there. Cool. Hey, so who is this? This is Sita. And you're right, this is our tortoise. Oh. And he is specifically an African leopard tortoise. Ooh, African leopard mm -hmm. tortoise. Yeah. Ooh, do they call it that because it kind of looks like a leopard? Exactly. So it sort of looks like the spots of a leopard. But this actually helps him to blend into his uh, environment out in Africa. So wow. out in Africa, there are a lot of dark browns, light browns, lots of dirt that he mm -hmm. can blend into. And from there, he can actually cover his shell with that dirt and sort of look like a dusty rock. Oh, that's <laughs> really cool. Cool camouflage. Absolutely. And rocks are really hard. Is he also really hard? He is. You can yeah. actually touch him and feel really? it if you'd like. Wow, cool. Yeah. Wow, he is very hard. That helps to protect all the other soft parts of his body, too. Oh, mm -hmm. wow full of defensive mechanisms. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> so can he like leave his shell or go into a shell? He can't leave his shell, it's a part of his body. Okay. So what he does is he'll actually pull all of the soft parts like his head towards his shell, he'll push his neck in, um, and he'll push his legs and his arms towards his body, towards his shell. Um, and from there, he can also use these really sharp scales that he has, just in case a predator did want to try to take a bite out of him. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and speaking of taking a bite, looks like he's hungry. Yeah, What's he, he eating? Is. He's eating a salad. It's full of a lettuce, carrots, and turnips. Uh -huh. But out in the wild, he's a plant eater, so he is herbivorous. Wow. So he'd be eating grasses and all sorts of different plants. Wow, <laughs> that is really cool. So this tortoise is a herbivore. That means he eats plants. Wow. Absolutely. Oh, hello. <laughs> so, is he full size? He's not. He's actually going to keep growing. Right now, Sita is 20 years old. Wow. But African leopard tortoises, they can get to be 50 years old. Wow. Really, really old. Uh, so, from there, they just keep growing and growing. So, Sita is about 30 pounds right now. Oh. He'll probably get around 50. Wow. Wow. So, Sita mm -hmm. might be 50 pounds someday. Yeah, I think and 50 years old! Mm -hmm. 50 years old is very, <laughs> very old. <laughs> wow. Well, it was really cool meeting you. Thank you. Yeah. See you later. See you, <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Check it out, look at this bird. Oh, hello. <laughs> what kind of bird is this? This is called a hyacinth macaw. They're found in South America and his name is Lightning. Wow, South America. Whoa, and he is such a pretty blue color. That's one of my two favorite colors. Awesome, yeah, he's blue because it helps him to camouflage up in the tops of the trees. All the tops of the trees provide a lot of shade and so the blue helps to mix in and you can barely even see it. Oh, wow. But you could probably see that bright yellow though, maybe. Yeah, that yellow color that he has is to help to care for his babies. So when a 
Macaw has a baby bird, they put them in a nest, and when the mom and dad come in to feed them, they see the yellow eyes, and that's how they know it's their parents. Oh, wow, that is really cool. Well, he is very pretty, and his beak looks really sharp eating those seeds or nuts that you're giving him. He does have a really big beak. I'm gonna give him a great big nut, we can watch him crack it open. Wow. There's even a type of nut in South America that only the hyacinth macaw can crack open with that big beak. Oh, really? Wow, so it must be a really strong, sharp beak. It really is. Wow, that is really cool. Yeah, and nuts and seeds are healthy. <laughs> so this bird is nice and healthy. Ooh, what's this? That's a target stick. One of the things that we do with our animal ambassadors is training. So we have trained Lightning to touch his nose to the ball of that stick. Oh, really? It's called a target. Oh, really? Target. Whoa, okay, okay. Good job. You wanna try it again after those yummy snacks? That was really good. That was awesome. Wow. <laughs> Here you go, target. <laughs> wow, that was really cool. Wow, and how old does this bird get? Hyacinth macaws can reach about 60 to 80 years old, and Lightning is actually 34 years old already. Whoa, that is really old. Whoa, <laughs> what a cool bird. Well, it's definitely nice to meet you. Wow, this bird is awesome. I love how it's the color blue, and then there's some yellow around its eyes. Wow, and I bet this bird can fly really fast and really high. Wow. Ooh. And it's cool that he eats nice and healthy with the seeds. Whoa. Whoa. Check it out. Did you see this bird just fly in? Wow. It's such a pretty black color. Ooh, and look at the beak. It's nice and white. Wow. And it just flew in so fast. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to fly like a bird? Woo! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun! Yeah, check it out! This is a zip line. And zip lines are where you wear a harness, so then you're nice and safe. Then you attach to these metal cables, so then you can go from the top of a hill all the way down to the bottom, and you'll feel like we're a bird! Ha-ha! Woohoo! Let's go fly! Whoa! Whoa! All right. Oh, thank you so much. This is Brandon, and Brandon is just making sure that I'm nice and safe. Yeah. To ride the zip line, you have to be at least eight years old. Oh, Brandon, I can't get this. Can you help me? Thank you. Yeah, you have to be at least eight years old, at least 60 pounds, but you could weigh all the way up to 300. All right. Am I ready? felt like I was a bird. <laughs> I'm actually kind of getting kind of tired. <sighs> mm. <sighs> wow. Oh, that was great. Oh, I love animals. Wow, so many different types of animals. Yeah, and birds, so cool how they can fly, right? Yeah, flapping their wings, feeling so free. Wow, hey, 
why don't I read you another story? <laughs> okay. All right. This is the story of all those animals that sleep when it's light, but come out at night. Hmm. <sighs> when we... <sighs> When we go to bed, when we go to bed, they, they, um, when we go to bed, whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Lauren. Oh, nice to meet you, Lauren. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? I am a tour guide here at the safari park. Whoa, a tour guide? Wait, so do we get to go on a tour? We sure do, we are going on a night vision tour. Oh, that's what these are, night vision goggles. Oh, exactly. so we can see the animals? Wow, cool, what kind of animals are we gonna see? We are looking for nocturnal animals. Oh, yeah, those are animals that are up and awake during the nighttime. <laughs> I am so excited, shall we go? Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, this is so much fun. This is so cool how you can see through these things at night. Wow. Whoa, so this has night vision and infrared? They have both. They help us see even better at night. Wow, cool. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool being able to see at night. Yeah, some animals can see at night without these. <laughs> Whoa, birds! Wow, there's so many of them! Whoa, are those flamingos? This is a large colony of greater flamingos. Wow. Oh, yeah! And they are all the color pink. You know why they're pink? They are pink from the food that they eat. They eat a lot of shrimp-like crustaceans that help turn them the color pink. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep, and they're all standing on one leg. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Look at them! Wow, this is so cool, being able to see these flamingos at nighttime. Wow! Wow! Look at all the flamingos! Whoa! Whoa, now they're all running! Whoa, they're very active at night. Whoa, this is so much fun! Hey, what do you like to do at work the most? What's your most favorite thing for your job? Because it's so cool that you work with animals. I think it's so fun to show people animals they've never seen before in real life. Yeah, especially the animals that they've never seen because, yeah, it's nighttime. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, what's your favorite animal that you have here? Thank you for asking. It is the southern white rhinoceros. Whoa, and they're, why do you like them? They are so big and beautiful, and they remind me of puppies. Aw, <laughs> that's so silly. A rhino reminds you of puppies? That's cool. Is that your favorite animal in the whole world or just here? In the whole world. Wow, that is really cool. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. <gasps> Whoa, look. Yeah, a rhinoceros. Wow, what kind of rhinoceros is that? This is a southern white rhinoceros, a mother and her baby. Oh, that is so cute. Southern white rhinoceros. Oh, yeah. That's your favorite animal in the world, isn't it? It is. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa, look at her. They look so big and strong. Are they up at night quite a bit? They do get up, but they feel very comfortable and safe when they're sleeping with their family members. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Do you know how much they weigh? They can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. Wow. That is very heavy. They probably have to eat a lot of food every single day then, huh? They have to eat tons of food. Even when the babies are born, they're almost 100 pounds. Oh, wow. That is a big baby. Whoa. <laughs> Hello, Rhino. <laughs> wow, check it out. Rhinoceroses are so cool. <laughs> hey, look, Flippy. Uh-huh. There's a giraffe. 
Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, oh and look, there's a baby. Whoa, hello. <laughs> They're so tall. Well, isn't it cool how these animals are up at night while you and I sleep? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that was awesome! Wow, all those animals are so cool! And it was so cool that some of them were nocturnal, huh? Yeah, that means they're awake at night! Yeah, when you and I sleep, they're awake! Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> oh, hey, why don't I read you another story? <laughs> oh, I love reading. <laughs> okay. A rumble in a tummy, a common animal mood. <laughs> to grow big and strong, <sighs> they need good food. <laughs> so, Open wide. <gasps> so open wide. Hope you're. So open wide. I hope you're. I hope you're hungry. Whoa! Hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Eileen, and oh. I'm a wildlife care specialist. Wow, that's really cool. Well, I'm Blippi, and what are you doing? I am getting ready to make some bottles so we can feed some baby animals. Whoa, that sounds like fun. Can I help? That would be great, Flippy. Okay. Do you want to make this first bottle for the spring box? Ooh, sure. So what I need you to do is to measure out 150 mils. Okay. And then put it in the bottle. Oh, here we go. 150 in spring box. I'm so excited to see what kind of animal that is. Okay, first, we need to measure it out. Here we go. Whoa. There we go. Oh, a little too much. Pour some out. There we go. That's exactly 150. That's so awesome. I'm going to put it right in here. Ooh, this looks like it's going to be a small animal. Yeah, because this bottle is really small. It is. And it's a very small amount in there. Okay, here you go. Thank you, Blippi. All Let's right. Just put the nipple on. Okay, perfect. And what about this big bottle? <laughs> That's for a much bigger animal. And so this formula, we this bottle, we're going to make from scratch right wow. now. All right, how do we do it? So what you're going to do is you're going to put some, some water in the container, about 2,000 milliliters or two liter. OK, so looks like we have to fill it all the way to the top. All right. <laughs> That's a lot of water. I bet this animal is really big. Whoa, about halfway there. So excited to see what animal this is. Okay, it's getting really heavy. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, we have the water. We're gonna mix it in this container. So you wanna pour the powder in there. Oh, the powder. Okay, so we're gonna mix the powder with the water. All right, do I pour all of this powder in there? The whole thing, yes. Okay, here we it's go. A big animal. All right, there we go. And then, Okay, the powder's in there. Now we need to pour the water. Whoa, <laughs> spilt a little bit. That's okay. All right, there we go. All right, now do I shake it up? Shake it as hard as you can, Flippy. All get right. Really good mix. Here we go. All right. That was great. Perfect. Now do we put it in the bottle? Yes. You might need to use this though. It's a lot easier to pour. Perfect. All right, here we go. Whoa, whoa. That smells really good. It does smell good, doesn't it? Yeah, here we go. All right, all right, here you go. <laughs> and then we warm them up. Oh, and after they're warm, then do we get to feed the animals? And then we get to feed the animals. But <laughs> just. Today, I actually have a few bottles that are already warmed up, so we can go ahead and feed them right now. All right, this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I am so excited. Whoa, check it out. 
Whoa! <laughs> so are these the small animals? They are. Wow. It's a little bit of a variety. This yeah. is a springbok. This oh. is a bontebok. Oh, hey, springbok. This spring is a Nile lechway. Okay, so it seems like there's a few different kinds there. Yes. A springbok, a monte way? A, a, a bontebok. Oh, a bontebok. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, they're so cute. Hello. And this is our older, oldest springbok. She is um, about six weeks old. Wow, and she looks so hungry. Which yeah, we you? did such a great oh. job with those bottles. Oh, Whoa. let me hey. get the right bottle here. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, and do you see that one? Yeah, it has okay. horns on its head. Whoa, is that right? That, yes. Those are horns? Those are horns, and they're just growing. Oh. And the female bontebok has horns just like the males, but in the... Oh, wow. And do they like to eat those leaves? They love to eat the leaves. We call it browse, and this is acacia browse. Oh, hey. Now, really, when springboks are out in the wild, uh -huh. they eat grass and they eat uh, plants. Whoa. But they don't really eat trees. The bontebok loves the trees, too. <laughs> OK. Wow, they look so hungry. But the one thing they all <laughs> have is in common is they're from Africa. Oh, they're from Different Africa. Africa. And can they, like, run fast or smell good or like jump high or anything like that? Springbok got their name because they jump very high. They, they say they can jump as high as 11 feet. They spring up in the air. Whoa! They have a very weird posture to it too. So when they're running away from someone that might be chasing them, uh -huh. they look bigger. Wow. So they spring a bit in the air and they also have this really strange flap of skin back here oh. that when they're very excited, it will open up. Wow. And <laughs> We're not sure exactly what all the purposes are, but it might be just to attract the other, the other animals. So oh, wow. It's pretty cool. <laughs> well, what a really cool animal. That was really fun. And they ate a lot of the treats that we made them from the small bottles. That's but right. didn't we make big bottles too? We did make a big <gasps> bottle. Do you want to go with me to feed something bigger? Yeah, I'd love to see a big animal. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Whoa. So those spring box were the one that drank from that small bottle. I'm so curious what animal is going to drink from this big bottle. That's going to be our friend Arthur. Do you want to give me a hand calling Arthur? Yeah! That's great. All right. I'm very excited so, to see what animal Arthur is. So all you need to do is start squeezing that. Okay. And he's going to come running. That's Good a silly and loud. sound. All right. Arthur, where are you? <laughs> Oh, here he comes. Oh, I know what kind of animal Arthur is. Whoa. All right, I'll set this down now. Yeah, Arthur looks like a rhinoceros. That's right, Flippy. He's a southern white rhino. Ooh, a southern white rhino. Whoa. Hey, Arthur. Do you hear that? He must really love the bottle that we made him. That sounds so yummy. <laughs> he sure does. Oh, and he looks a lot smaller than an adult massive rhino. Is he a baby? He is a baby. He's a little bit over a year. So he's going to be getting bottles for a little while longer, a few months. Okay. It's going to take him a while to get as big as a big rhino. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like he likes some hay. Whoa. <laughs> Arthur is so cool. And that was really cool being able to help feed Arthur. <laughs> <sighs> I'm getting kind of tired though. <laughs> wow, rhinoceros is so cool. Whoa. <sighs> 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 Wow, what a great morning this is. <laughs> wow, and what a great night that was. I slept so great. Yeah, now I'm very well rested. Whoa, and wasn't that fun at the Roaring Store? Yeah, we learned so much about animals. <laughs> I love animals. Yeah, big animals, small animals. Yeah, I love big and small animals. It's so cool how some animals are awake at nighttime. Huh, yeah. While I like to sleep at nighttime. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs>
Did you hear that? Whoa! There it is again! Wow, that sounds like an animal, for sure. You know what kind of animal that is? Hmm, sounds like a kitty cat. <laughs> meow. Meow. <laughs> but it definitely sounds bigger than a kitty cat. There it is again! Whoa! Okay, it's a cat, but it's really big. It has a big mane around its head. You know what animal I'm talking about? Yeah! We're hearing a lion! <laughs> Do you want to act like a lion with me? <laughs> oh, there it is again! Yeah! Wow, this was so much fun. And weren't those stories really good? <laughs> yeah! All right, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Yeah. It's me, Flippy, and today we're here at the Orlando Science Center in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> and I am so excited because you and I get to learn all about science. <laughs> and we're gonna have lots of fun playing. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, check it out. We're here at Drip Drop Splash and there's so many fun things to play with in the water. <laughs> Whoa, look. It's a fish, and it's the color orange. Hello, fish. Hello, Blippi. Oh, how are you today? I'm doing really good. <laughs> Whoa, well, let's play with some water. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, check it out. You see this fountain? Whoa, it's so smooth. <laughs> look. Whoa. Whoa, look at it go. <laughs> Whoa. This fountain makes really smooth water come out of it. Yeah, that's called laminar flow. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, laminar flow is whenever the water flows really smoothly. <laughs> whoa, hey, look at this. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Choo -choo. <laughs> yeah, look at this sprinkler head. It's so bubbly and it's so so wet <laughs> and sprinkly. Yeah, this is called turbulent flow. <laughs> Look at it go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. We have a blue boat and a pink boat. And they're riding the waves. Whoa. So many fun things to play here. <laughs> hey, look at this. Oh, <laughs> see this? There are all these tubes. Huh. Wonder what they're used for. Whoa, look. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. <laughs> look at it go. Yeah, and it looks like you can connect all the tubes. Whoa, <laughs> to splash in different ways. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see what we can build. Whoa, look, it has an arm. <laughs> oh, it looks like a crane. <laughs> but we're not building anything with this crane. Nope, we're splashing. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, let's build the biggest fountain ever. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, check it out! <laughs> that is one big fountain. <laughs> and it looks like all the boats, they can swim under it. Whee! Whoa! <laughs> it's raining! <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Come on! Whoa, 
and check it out. There are so many colorful boats here. We have an orange boat, a blue boat, a pink boat, <laughs> a yellow boat, and whoa, <laughs> a green boat. It's a tower of boats. Whoa! <laughs> whoa, and look at this. <laughs> whoa, look. It's a stream where the boats can go down. Yeah, if you start at the top, you can put some balls. Whoa, look at them go. Bye-bye. <laughs> or maybe a fish. Bye-bye, <laughs> fish. Whoa, <laughs> look at them go. Whoa, or a boat. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. And look at this. There are all these different plates. Yeah, you can take a blue plate and you can put it in different parts to stop up the water so we can make the biggest splash ever. <laughs> We're gonna make the boat go really fast down the ramp. Okay, but first we need to block off all the components using plates. Okay, it's filling up. <laughs> now we can start putting the boats in. Okay, <laughs> whoa, look, it's filling up. Couple more. Okay, I think we're ready <laughs> to release the boats. Whoa, look at go! <laughs> Hello, whoa! <laughs> whoa, they went so fast. <laughs> oh, wow, I think it's about time for the grand finale. We've had a lot of fun playing with all these boats, but there's one more surprise. Look at it go! Whoa! Whoa, look at it! Whoa! Whoa, look! I'm getting all the balls in my nets! That was one grand finale. Whoa! It looks like there are some animals for us to see. <laughs> oh, hi, Tori. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Flippy. Whoa, and check it out. It's a tortoise and a bunny. <laughs> Whoa, and Tori, who's this? This is Rocky, the gopher tortoise. Ooh. Hello, Rocky. <laughs> Is it okay if I touch her? Absolutely, you can touch her right on the shell there. Mm. And she can actually feel you touching her. Like we can feel things that touch our fingernail. It's kind of like that. Wow, her shell is very hard and so smooth. <laughs> oh, and Rocky's a tortoise, right? That's correct. Oh. So if you look at the claws there, that's how you can tell. Turtles have webbed feet. Tortoises have claws for digging and climbing. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, the turtles, they love the water. But tortoises, they walk on the land. <laughs> well, Rocky, it was really nice to meet you. Oh, and how old is Rocky? Rocky's almost 30 years old. 30 years old? <laughs> She's so small, but so old. <laughs> Aw, well, I'll see you soon, Rocky. Oh, and Hannah, who's this? This is Benji the bunny. Oh, hello, Benji. <laughs> Is it okay if I give Benji a pet? Absolutely. Ooh. Oh, Benji is so soft Ooh, and so fuzzy. <laughs> and Benji is the color white. And Benji's eyes, they're the color red. Oh, Hannah, why are Benji's eyes red? So his eyes are red because he's an albino bunny. Oh, an albino bunny? What does albino mean? So that just means he doesn't have the color pigmentation in his eyes like we do. So instead, we're seeing his blood vessels. Aw, hey, wait a minute. We have a bunny and a tortoise. What if we see if they'll race? Absolutely. Let's try. <laughs> OK. On the count of three, we're going to see if the tortoise or the hare will win the race. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> go, Rocky, go! Go, Benji. Who is going to win? Oh. Whoa, it looks like Benji won. <laughs> Whoa, look at these guys. <laughs> I'm here with my good friend, Tori. She's 
she's an animal expert and she knows all about these animals. <laughs> Hi, Tori. Hi, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa, who are these? This is Raven and this is her baby Puff. Oh, they are both monkey tailed skinks. Monkey tailed skinks? Whoa, <laughs> I've never heard of those before. Well, hi, Raven. Hi, Puff. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Would you like to touch Raven on the back? Oh, check yeah. out those smooth scales. Whoa. Aww. Wow, Raven is so smooth. And look, she looks like a greenish yellow color. Why are they colored like that? It helps them blend in. Ooh. They like to be very tall up in the trees. They're excellent <laughs> climbers with that monkey tail, these long fingers with the claws. When they're eating leaves and flowers, they don't want any birds to see them. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, and did you see this? It's a monkey tail. Oh, that's probably why they're called monkey tail skinks. <laughs> hey, will you act like a monkey with me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job being a monkey. <laughs> but these aren't monkeys. They're only called monkey-tailed skinks. Yeah, they look like excellent climbers. Have their big long tail, and it looks like they have really long fingers. Woo! <laughs> Absolutely, that helps them hold on when they're climbing around. They also have very sharp claws. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, you are so cute looking. Oh, and look, there's a hole in the side of her head. What's that for? That's how she hears. Oh, no way. Do you see that? Yeah, that little hole in the side of Raven's head is her ear. <laughs> well, it was so cool to learn all about the monkey-tailed skinks. <laughs> Thanks, Tori. No problem, Blippi. I'll see you soon. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Do you see all these tubes? <laughs> They're so cool because they use air power. <laughs> yeah, air is really important. It has the oxygen that we breathe. <sighs> and it can pull things like a vacuum. <laughs> or push things like a hair dryer. <laughs> <laughs> That's just awesome. Well, I had such a fun time with you today here at the Orlando Science Center. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay, <laughs> here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Philippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Woo! <laughs> At. Oh, they use it in cities, in towns, to put out fires. It's also used in medical emergencies. Oh, so cool. Yeah. Whoa, speaking of cool, oh. Mika, check it out. Another one. Yeah. This one is a lot smaller. This is a Type 6 fire truck. Oh, and look how big that wheel is. Yeah, exactly. This fire truck is used out in the wilderness. Not every oh. fire happens in the city. Yeah. Ooh, and look at this, Mika. Oh, there's a lot of space there. It's really high up. Yeah, if they had to go over a log or a tall rock, so then it doesn't hit the body. Yeah, the chassis of the fire truck. Oh, that's so smart. Yeah. Oh, these are so cool. Yeah, there's so many different kinds of fire trucks. Yeah, and a big bumper. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow, this one's really tall. Oh, it kind of looks like a mix between the last two. Yeah, this is a Type 3 fire truck. Wow, it looks pretty tall, uh -huh. but then it has the same kind of body. Yeah, you can use this truck for in big cities. 
Oh, and out in the wilderness. <laughs> cool. Oh, this is so much fun. Yeah, whoa, Blippi, look. Whoa. Whoa, this looks like the Type 1 fire truck. Yeah, and it's tilted over because they must be working on it. Oh, yeah, and do you see? There's not even the body attached to this fire truck. Yeah, come look. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Cool, look right here. Yeah, there's a lot of tubes and a big engine. Yeah. Ooh, I see the hydraulic fluid. Ooh, some oil. Ooh, a bunch of cylinders. Yeah. This looks very powerful. It's so cool that we get to see the inside of this truck. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what if we can go see how they build these fire trucks? Yeah, let's go check it out. Come on. <laughs> hey. Hey, what's your name? I'm Brian Ruthman. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Hi, I'm Mika. So what do you do here? I'm the plant supervisor. Oh, cool. But what's this machine? Uh, this is a laser. It focuses beams of light through mirrors, and we use it to cut through the metal. Whoa, that's awesome. So it makes parts of a fire truck? Yeah, it makes the complete body and everything on the fire truck. Whoa. Oh, so the side of the fire truck. Yeah, the metal parts. This machine cuts them out. Whoa. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. What are you working on right now? Uh, we knew you were coming, so we decided to uh, draw up a Mika and a Blippi uh, logo. So we're going to be cutting that out on the laser today. Oh, cool. Yeah, so can we watch it be made? Yeah. Yep, we just got to put our safety glasses on. Oh, cool. Yeah, first get things it, first. Yeah. Safety, safety first. <laughs> Whoa, how do I look? Oh, very nice. Oh, you too. Safe and protected. Oh. <laughs> cool. Oh, can I press the start button? Yeah, it's right over here. Oh, yeah. Whoa, check it out, Whoa. Blippi. Oh, yeah, my name, <laughs> Blippi. Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. <laughs> oh, and look, there's my name. Will you spell my name with us? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika! Oh, check it out, so many buttons and knobs. And yeah. <gasps> the start button. <laughs> Will you count down with us? Cool. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah. The bow, like I have in my hair. Oh. And oh, look, there's my jam pack. Oh, cool. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun cutting out the names with that laser machine. Yeah, really cool. Oh. Oh, hey. hey. Whoa, what do you think? Do they look good? Yeah, they look really good. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing us how to do that. Yeah, that was really fun. After this machine cuts pieces out of this metal, then what's the next step? Uh, the next step is uh, we take the pieces over to the body tables, and then we go over there and we start welding all the pieces together to form the fire truck Whoa. body. Oh, wow. cool. Could you show us? Yeah, follow me. Oh, all right. Okay, let's go. Whoa, I know what this is. This is welding, right? Yep. Oh, welding? I've never welded before. What is it? Ooh, I think I know what it is. Can I answer? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I think it's when you fuse two pieces of metal together with electricity, gas, and heat. Is that correct? Yep, that's right. Oh, wow, that sounds kind of complicated. <laughs> yeah, what's this? That uh, they're welding. This is the front of a fire truck body. Whoa. Oh. So Ooh. much work goes into building a fire truck. Yeah. And wait a second, what are those? Uh, these are your protective gloves and your protective helmet from the arc from the welder to protect your eyes and your oh, vision. Oh, looks like a cool helmet. Yeah. Why do you need to protect your eyes? Because uh, the arc's really, really bright and it'll damage your eyes. Oh. So. <laughs> wow. Well, if someone's going to be welding, do we get those really cool looking helmets? Yep. We have a helmet for each of oh, you here. Oh, awesome. <laughs> 
Whoa, cool! Hey, Mika! Look! Flippy, that's your name! Yeah! Hey, wait a second! In your name on yours! So awesome! Whoa. Thank you! Ooh, maybe we should try it on. Oh yeah, let's see if they fit. <laughs> Whoa! Hello? 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 Where'd you go? Huh? Oh. Hello? Whoa! It's so dark! Whoa! <laughs> wait, where are you? Oh, it's so dark in there! Yeah, it is! Wow, it's so dark! Whoa. Why do you wear the gloves? But to protect it from the heat and the spark during the welding process. Whoa! Smart! <laughs> yep. Yeah, good to be safe. Yep. And are you going to be the welder today? Um, we have Matthew here, and he's going to teach you how to uh, weld the body. Oh, oh! All right, cool! Yeah! Well, I guess we'll be seeing you after this welding fun. Yep, I'll <laughs> catch you later at the paint shop. All, All right, right, see, see ya! ya. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you, Matthew. How long have you worked here for? Uh, three years now. Wow, cool. We're excited to see you weld. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Let's get started then. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. Ooh, he's putting on his gloves. Oh. Oh, and is that your really cool looking helmet? Yes, it is. Oh. Oh, Whoa. so how do you actually <laughs> weld? You'll bring it up to your material uh -huh. or your metal. You'll start strike the arc and drag. We call it the puddle down. Of material. Oh. Yeah. All right. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're excited. All righty. Put these down now? Yes, sir. Oh, All right. It is time. <laughs> Whoa. Cool. Is it safe to pull up our helmets? Whoop. Yes, it is. Oh. Whoa. I can definitely see why you need a helmet. Yeah, that was really, really bright. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you mind if I try? Of course you can. Whoa, oh. cool, Blippi. <laughs> <laughs> Here is a jacket for you to protect you from the sparks. Oh, oh. cool. Yeah, safety jacket. Nice. Yeah, how do I look? Oh, nice, it fits well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK, I should probably button this up, right? All right, yep. so you have your jacket, your helmet, and what else does Blippi need? Gloves! <laughs> okay, let's go like this. Here's one glove. <laughs> and my second glove. Whoa. Two gloves. All right. Okay, well, I'm ready. Good luck, Flippy. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Well, should we go to the paint shop? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see what's going on Here. over there. We'll give you those. Thank you so much. All right. Should we take our signs? Yeah. So okay. we can paint them. Awesome. Oh. Thanks, Matthew. Yeah, thank you. Here you go. Okay. All right. See you later. Bye. See ya. <laughs> That's so we can fit a fire truck in it. It's 80 feet long. Wow, you can paint an entire fire truck in here? Yep. Wow, wow cool. Whoa. Hey, Mika, look at <gasps> our names. Oh, yeah, our signs are hanging up. They're ready to be painted. Whoa, can we paint those today? Yep, we've got paint uh, sprayers for you, and we've got your colors mixed up, <gasps> ready to go. Oh, I hope that you got purple. And either blue or orange for me. We have purple and orange. <gasps> cool. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Shall we get started? Sure. I'll go get your uh, paint sprayers. All right. Okay. Get suited up and we'll be ready to go. All Perfect. right. Hey. Glasses like this. Yep. And my helmet. Yep. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. So it really was. <gasps> They're nice and 
dry now. Yeah, oh, nice purple, Mika. Oh, thank you, a nice orange, Blippi. Oh, thanks. Oh, hey. Hey. Wow, how did they look? They look perfect. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. Thanks for teaching us how to paint these. Yeah, and thank you so much for teaching us how fire trucks are built. Yeah, it was such a fun day. Yeah, I got a surprise waiting for you guys outside. <gasps> wow. Oh, I can't wait to see what it is. Thank you. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> in the city. Yeah, and ones that put out forest fires. Whoa, and it's really cool being able to see that laser machine. Yeah, look at these really neat signs. Yeah. <laughs> and you got to try welding. Oh yeah, that was so cool. Yeah. And you did a very great job with your painting. Thanks, Blippi, you did a great job too. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. Well, if you had fun and want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Yep. Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy. <laughs> nice. Hey, will you spell my name with us? Cool. M E E K A H. Mika. Right, see you again. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye. Wait, did you hear that? Sounds like a fire call. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are. Please be careful. We are coming through to save the day. Ready to rescue? Today, we're at Ranch at the Pier. In Malibu, California. Yeah, <laughs> here they have a lot of fruits and vegetables. Yeah, look, oh, these look really yummy. Yeah, look, a really small watermelon. Yep, and here's a really small lemon. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Ooh, and some really spicy peppers. <laughs> Very hot. <laughs> oh. Wow, all of this produce is making me a little hungry. Yeah, me too. Oh, look. Popsicles! Yummy! Whoa! Mika! Hey! Whoa! Hey, 
Julia. Hi, Blippi. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> so what's Mom and Pop Shop? So we sell all natural popsicles made with fresh fruits and vegetables. Ooh, that sounds good. They are. Do you want to try one? <laughs> yes, yeah. please. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. We just ran out. They're so popular today. Oh. Hmm. Okay. What do we do now? Let me think. I got an idea. How about we go to the ranch and pick fresh fruits and vegetables and you guys make your own popsicle? That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like fun. Great. I'll meet you up there. Okay. Let's go. Isn't it? It's remarkable. Did you know that they rescued 150 animals and it's environmentally friendly? Wow, oh, 150 animals? That's a lot of animals. Yeah, it sure is. Yep. What does environmentally friendly mean? Well, nothing gets wasted at the ranch. So all of the vegetables that get sold at the pier, if there's any left over, they feed them to the animals and then the animals nutrients the soil and then the plants grow from the soil. Wow, cool. Very cool. Wait, so this ranch has fruits and vegetables? Hey, that's what we can use for the popsicles, right? Absolutely. So I have some baskets here where you could explore the ranch and get some fruits and vegetables okay. for your popsicles. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> but do you know who else loves vegetables? Who? The horses. What? Horses? Oh, yeah, go ahead and you. feed some horses while you're here. We can <laughs> feed some horses? That's so fun. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, yeah. see you see later. You My name's Flippy. Would you like an apple? Ooh, a nice go. and healthy snack. All right, there you go. There's one behind you Ooh, too, there Blippi. you go. Whoa! <laughs> Look! Wow! Whoa. Do you like carrots? Ooh, yeah. There you go. I think that's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, Mika, look! Whoa. They even have alpacas. Hey! <laughs> Oh, they're Whoa. so cute. Whoa. <laughs> oh, there you go. Aww. Are those carrots yummy? Whoa. Wow, they're such healthy eaters. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. There you go. Oh, you should Still probably chewing. chew and then swallow all your food before the next <laughs> bite. <laughs> Whoa. Yummy? Yeah, I, think so. I guess so. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun feeding those animals. Yeah. <laughs> now I think we can find some ingredients to make popsicles. Oh yeah, fruits and vegetables. Oh yeah. <gasps> Blippi, what? I have a great idea. What, Mika? What if we made popsicles for each other? <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, I can pick out ingredients that I know you'll like. <laughs> and I'll pick out ingredients that you will probably like. Oh, okay, All let's right. do it. See you soon. All right. See you later, horsey. <laughs> wow, look at how beautiful this ranch is. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this plant. This is rosemary. <sighs> and it smells so good. Well, and rosemary is actually edible, so that means you can eat it. But rosemary, I don't think would taste very good in a popsicle, so I'm not gonna pick it. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Whoa, a lemon tree. Cool, come on. Whoa, look at these lemons. Yeah, these are just like the ones that Mika saw at the pier. Oh, maybe I should pick one. And just maybe I'll add it to the popsicle. Oh, all right, let's see. Give it a little tug. Whoa, look at it. It's so cute and small. <laughs> and these are Meyer lemons. Yeah, they have a little bit of sweetness to them. Okay, I'll put that one right there. And then, uh, let's see, how about this one? Right there. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I love this beautiful garden. Look at all 
all of these plants and trees. Hmm. I wonder if I can find a fruit tree so I can pick some fruit for a popsicle for Blippi. Wait a second. Here's one right here. This is a strawberry guava tree. There's different kinds of guava, but this is strawberry guava, which is really yummy. Take a look. See, it's round and kind of red. Ooh, it's so yummy. This will be the perfect ingredient for a popsicle for Blippi. Oh, I can't wait to find more fruit and vegetables. Let's go. garden. It's so amazing. Oh, and do you see this net up here and on the sides? Yeah, that keeps all the critters and the birds from eating all this delicious food. Whoa, and look at this. Do you know what this is? This is spinach. And it's so good for you. Hey, maybe this would be really good in a popsicle. Yeah, spinach a lot of times is inside salads, yummy stuff like that. But popsicles also can have spinach in it. That is so cool. All right, that's probably enough. Let's see what else is around here. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is kale. Ooh, have you ever had a kale chip before? Yeah, you just take these leaves. Yeah, see that? That's a kale leaf and then you put it in the oven. Whoa, and then it gets all crunchy. It's like a normal chip, but with kale. It's so healthy and so yummy. Hey, I bet this popsicle is gonna be the color green. Yeah, that's what we should shoot for. So then she'll have a nice, healthy, yummy popsicle. All right, one more leaf. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> wow, look at this fabulous garden. We are going to find some really good ingredients for Blippi's popsicle. Hmm. Hey, these are beet plants. Beets are really cool because they're super healthy and they're yummy and they're really good for you. They're especially good for your heart. And they're a bright pinkish reddish color that will look really good in a popsicle. Now they're root vegetables, so they're underground. You have to hold on to the leaves and pull to get them out. <sighs> hey, look at that. A nice yummy beet for Blippi's popsicle. Hmm. There's so many different plants here and really cool that you can eat all of them. Like this little carrot. so I can show you. Ah, here we go. A nice, delicious red strawberry. Strawberries are a really popular flavor of popsicles and ice cream because they're really, really sweet. Mm, I should probably make sure that this is sweet enough for a popsicle. Mmm, it's perfect. Let's pick some for Blippi. <laughs> Ooh, here's a good one. Oh, this is a really good one. Oh, this will be so yummy in the popsicles. Let's go make some yummy treats. Hey, Julia, look at what I got. Yeah, tell me all about it. Well, I got some spinach. Perfect. Mm. <laughs> I have some kale. Yum. <laughs> And I got a lemon. Oh, what a cute lemon. <laughs> yeah, I really want to make Mika a green popsicle. That sounds amazing. There's not that many green popsicles out there, so I think you're onto something. Yeah. Here, let's get you an apron first. Oh, cool. Yeah. Check out my apron. Whoa, mom and pop shop. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> do you know any recipes we can do with a green popsicle? I do. I have one in mind. I don't think we need the lemon quite yet. Okay. But. I think we could use some green apples. Ooh, yum! Can I see? Yeah. Oh, check it out. Yeah, a green apple. Yeah, and do you know the other color of apples? Yeah! 
red. <laughs> cool. Awesome. And some green grapes. Whoa. Green grapes. So yummy. <laughs> All right. And to add a little bit more sweetness, mm -hmm. I'm going to say a ripe banana. Ooh, a ripe banana. But wait a second. It's brown. Yeah, that means it's super sweet. And oh. that's what you want in a popsicle. Oh, cool. So if you're banana has a little bit of brown on it, that's okay. It's just gonna be more sweet and yummy. <laughs> yep. All I right. think it's awesome that you wanna do vegetables in your popsicle. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the blender. Okay. And then we could just put all the fruits and vegetables in there, just throw them all in. It's all a right. very powerful blender. <laughs> cool. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's that. apple. And then I'm gonna add some liquid. So anytime you use a blender, you need some liquid. Okay. Or else it's not gonna blend properly. Okay. All right, and what kind of liquid is that? I have some organic apple juice here. Ooh, yum! <laughs> All, right. All right. So excited. I wonder if these are actually going to be green. <laughs> All right. And it's going to be pretty loud, so are you ready? All right, I'm All right. ready. Three, two, one. Whoa, is it done? It's done. Wow, it does look green. All right. You're gonna love it. Yeah. Oh, do you smell that? Mmm. Mm. It smells so sweet. Yep. Yeah. All right. Hey. So now we're gonna put the mixture in this pitcher so it's easier to pour in the molds. Okay. Wow. Check it out. Oh, yummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And here are our molds. Oh, the molds. Yeah. I remember these molds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's what we use in our kitchen when we have our big machine. Yeah. But today we're just making some at home pops. So we're using oh. our nifty molds for at home. Oh, cool. At home pops. Here we go. Hey, do you want to count how many popsicles we can make with this with me? Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. That's a lot of popsicles. All right. And then we just pour it in there? Yep. Would you like to do it or sure. me? All right. I'll, I'll do five and you do five. How's okay. That sound? Okay. Can we get a little foamy? That's okay. Yeah. Now I will pour five as well. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Perfect. I'm so excited to have such nutritious pops. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and that's the lid? That's the lid we put on it, and then we just put some sticks on it. Yeah, the sticks! Cool! All right, so every single one of these, you mm -hmm. put a stick in? Yep. Okay. And the great go. part is, when you're done with your pop school, you could keep your sticks and maybe make a birdhouse or Whoa. any type of crafting. Yeah, or a marble machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. <laughs> all right, so is it ready? That's all ready. Take it to the freezer. All right. <laughs> Julia. Hi, Rika. Welcome yeah. to the kitchen. Oh, thank you so much. So, Ooh. What did you find? I have some really yummy ingredients for Blippi's Popsicle. Yeah. I picked some strawberries. Perfect. And I have some guava. Oh, how cute. <laughs> and I have beets. Beets. Yep. That's a very interesting ingredient. What do you think you're going to make? Beats me. Good one. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought all of these ingredients would look really cool. Mm -hmm. They could be a bright red or pink popsicle in the end. Yeah, they're going to look amazing. So, beets are very interesting ingredients. So, I think we're going to have to make an original here. Okay. So, first ever popsicle beet. Ooh, cool. So, let's get your apron first. Okay, thank you. And let's just start cutting them open. Okay. I think what we're gonna need to do is use our juicer for this recipe. Oh, a juicer. So have you ever seen inside of a bee? Um, I think so. Yeah? Let's see. It's a root vegetable. Yeah, I love that color. Look at that. Go ahead and smell it. Check it out. It's really cool. Hmm, it smells kind of earthy, mm -hmm. but also kind of sweet. Yeah, it's mm. gonna juice real well, so. We're just gonna turn it on. And you can throw the fruit inside. Okay. You see some like blades spinning there in the middle. Yeah. The blades move on the middle and just kind of crush everything and, and there's a sieve so it keeps um, all of the fibers inside. Whoa, look! You can see it's pushing all of the juice out of the berries 
right into the picture. That's so cool. And let's see what happens when we add the beets. Whoa. Smells yummy. Thank you. Okay. There go the beets. Look at how dark it turns. Yeah. What a pretty color. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. I can smell it already. It does. And last but not least, we have our guava. Guava. And we can just toss the whole thing in there. Wow. Okay. There it goes. Ooh, you, you hear that? The <laughs> Whoa. This is going to be yummy. Yeah. Whoa, that's a lot of juice. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the molds. All right, they're right here. Wow. So these are the molds we use at home. It's a lot of popsicles. Yeah. <laughs> Lippy's going to love it. Oh, yeah. Okay, can I pour? Go okay. ahead. Okay. Try it out. All right. Might get messy. That's all of the fun. Okay, now to the freezer. And once they're done freezing, you know what we could use? We use compostable packaging. What does that so mean? These bags are compostable. So here at the ranch, you know, everything's sustainable. We don't want to leave any trash behind. So these break down easily in the trash. That's awesome. Yeah. You are being so good to the earth. <laughs> we tried to. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put these in the freezer. Thanks, Julia, for good your luck. help. All right. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, wasn't that fun, Mika? Yeah, that was awesome! Yeah, I'm so excited to show you the popsicle I made for you. I'm excited to show you the popsicle I made for you. Oh, all right! Let's see! Here we go! Ooh, Flippy! Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Cool color! Yeah, I really like that green! Yeah, what's in yours? Well, I made a popsicle for you from Beast guava, and strawberries. Ooh, yum. Yep. Well, I added spinach, Ooh. kale, apples, <laughs> grapes, what? and bananas. Wow, that <laughs> sounds yummy. Yeah, I bet you'll love it. Yep, let's yep. try it. All Here right. Here we go. Here you go. Thank you, Blippi. You're welcome. All right, let's see. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> That's really yummy. Yum! Good mm. job, Mika! Yeah, you too! Wow. Thank you so much! Thank you so much! <laughs> wow! Wasn't that so much fun making popsicles with the mom and pop shop? Yeah! At Ranch at the Pier! Yeah! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Yep! Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I! -I Blippi! <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Julia. See you, Julia. Bye, Lippy. Bye, Mika. Thanks for coming. Whoa, aloha. It's me, Blippy. And look at where I'm at. Today, I'm on Oahu, which is an island of Hawaii. Wow, isn't it beautiful here? Yeah, the trees are so green, there's so much green grass, and the shrubs and trees look so happy. Whoa! Hey, wouldn't it be really cool to see what this beautiful place looks like really high in the sky? Yeah! Why don't today we ride a helicopter and see what it looks like? And actually, Magnum Helicopters here on Oahu is coming here to give me a ride! Yeah, I'm so excited! Do you hear it? Oh, yeah! Oh, there it is, right there. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, it's so high. Whoa, hey up there. Whoa, wow, I am so excited. I bet everything is gonna look really small from up there. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> oh, it's landing. Oh, all right. Wow, I'm so excited. All right, now that the rotors are stopped, why don't we go say hi? <laughs> Whoa, that was really cool. Hey, who are you? Hi, my name's Doug. I'm the chief pilot at Magnum Helicopters. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Wow, this is a very cool helicopter. Whoa, how long have you been flying helicopters for? I've been flying for 20 years. Wow, 20 years? That's a very long time. Do you know how many hours you have flying helicopters? I have over 5,000 hours. 
Whoa! Now that is a lot of hours. Whoa, do you mind if I take a closer look at your helicopter? Not at all. Wow, come on. Whoa, what a colorful helicopter. It's the color orange. Ooh, and yellow. Ooh, and brown. Whoa, hey Doug, what's this thing for? That's just a step so the passengers can climb up into the helicopter. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, and it looks like there's some seats back here. Ooh, and some seats up here. Whoa, how many people can fly in this helicopter? Oh, the pilot can bring four people with him if he wants. Wow, cool. And what kind of helicopter is this? This is an MD-500. Wow, MD-500. Whoa, and up there, I know what those are. Those are the rotors, right? That's right. Wow, and what does this rotor do? So the rotor, it spins around like a big fan and it blows the air down, creates lift, then lifts the helicopter up off the ground. Oh, cool. So this main rotor creates lift, so then the helicopter can fly. And there's another rotor back here that I know. Can we check it out? Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah. And this rotor is called the tail rotor. Whoa. Cool. And what does this do, Doug? This can spin the helicopter left and right so it can face any direction that we want it to. All right. So the main rotor creates the lift, and then this rotor yeah, makes the helicopter turn. Really cool. Oh, and I know what that is. That's the boom, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. And is this the number and letters of this exact helicopter? Yes, sir. They call it the tail number. Tail number. And I have a fun thing for us to do. Do you mind saying this with me at the same time? All right. All right, let's do it. N, N three, five, seven, M, H. H. Wow, awesome. Whoa, what's this, Doug? Oh, this is the engine back here. You want to see? Right. Yeah, I'd love to. All right. This is going to be so cool seeing the engine of a helicopter. Whoa, come check it out. Whoa, I'm going to be very careful because it might still be hot. Oh, it looks very complicated. Whoa, and back here, look how dirty it looks. This must be the exhaust. Whoa, thank you so much for letting us check out the engine of that helicopter. Whoa, can You're we welcome. check out the front? Yes, sir. All right. Come on hey, this way. Wait a second, I know what these are. These are landing skids, right? Mm-hmm. Wow, why are they so unique looking compared to an airplane? They have wheels and tires, right? Right, an airplane has wheels because it has to land moving forward on a runway and has to slow down. But a helicopter can slow down before it lands on the ground and actually go straight down. Wow, cool. So helicopters can go many, many places because they can land and take off completely vertical like that. Oh, cool. Whoa, and this is where you sit? Yes, it is. On this side? Mm-hmm, that's the pilot seat right there. Oh, cool. Ooh, and what's this called? This is called the collective. Oh, collective, I remember that. That's what controls the vertical lift, right? Right, makes the helicopter go up and down. Oh, cool. And this is the cyclic? Yes. And what do you use that for? That can steer the helicopter. Oh, cool. And look at all those gauges. What are all those gauges for? Oh, well, we have gauges to keep an eye on uh, the engine, also how high we fly and how fast we're flying. Wow, they look very complicated. <laughs> you must be very smart. <laughs> wow, and there's different types of helicopters, right? Mm-hmm. Like firefighting helicopters, like... Rescue helicopters. Or police helicopters. And what do you say this is? This is an air tour helicopter. Ooh, an air tour. Oh, perfect. I was actually thinking I could go for a ride around here. Oh, and this would be a great helicopter for it. Because do you see the doors? No, you don't, because there's no doors. <laughs> do you mind if we go for a spin? That'd be great. All right, where should I sit? I'll come around here, hop in the front seat with me. All right, <laughs> cool. Whoa, so just climb on in? Sure, climb on up. All right, <laughs> cool. Whoa, it's so high up here. Wow, so cozy. How do I get, get started? Well, let's put your seatbelt on. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, just like in a car. Gotta buckle up. All right, all right, now what? Now take that orange headset right there, put that on so we can talk to each other. Oh, cool. Yeah, orange is one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> all right, hello, hello. So are you gonna wear one too? Yes, I will. All right, let's do this. I'm so excited. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, 
here we go! Wow, it feels so cool to be flying! Whoa, look at those trees to the left. Wow, oh, they're so green. Whoa, check this out! That is a big mountain. Do you see how steep it is? Wow, it goes straight up and down. Whoa, let's head to the ocean. Whoa, check it out. That looks like a small town next to the ocean. Wow, wouldn't it be nice to live there? <laughs> Whoa, and look over there. There's that big mountain we saw from the ground. Wow, it is so cool how there's trees at the very tippy top of it. Wow, now that is some blue water. Wow, Doug, you are such a great pilot. You brought me all the way out to the ocean. Wow, isn't the ocean so vast? I bet there's a lot of sea creatures that live out here. Wow, look at the top of the mountain. Do you see that town down there? Wow, I bet they have some pretty views. Not like views like these though. It's like we're a bird. Ka -ka! <laughs> this is so beautiful. That is a deep valley. Whoa, and the beaches stretch for so long. Whoa, <laughs> you can't even see rocks on these mountains. They're totally covered by trees and bushes and grass. I bet there's some animals that live in here. Whoa, check out that waterfall. It is so tall. Wow, it looks like the water starts from the top and falls all the way down to the bottom. Wow, cool. This is so beautiful. It's like I'm a bird just flying anywhere and everywhere I want to go. Well, <laughs> wherever, Doug, you want to take me. <laughs> Whoa, the sun is coming out. This is so beautiful. Wow, I bet we could get a suntan today. Hey, Doug, thank you so much for flying so safe. <laughs> this is so much fun. Whoa, look at this. I can see beach, I can see farmland, I can see mountains. Wow, Oahu is such a special place and so beautiful. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah, it looks like something's in the water. Oh, I know what that is. That's coral. <laughs> yeah, they're actually living organisms and they look so cool from the air. Whoa, look at all these instruments and gauges. They are very hard to read, but they tell the pilot very important information. Wow, look at Doug use that cyclic so then we can fly real safe. Whoa, what are these things? They're circles, but wait a second. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. This is a sandbar. Yeah, that's just sand underneath the water, but just, just a little bit underneath the water. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. This is the University of Hawaii's island. This is where they study a lot of cool things like marine life, creatures and plants. It's really cool. Oh, there's the patch of ground that we took off from. Oh, I bet Doug is gonna land right here. Whoa! <laughs> this was so much fun! Wow, and now we're back safe on the ground! Wow, that was so much fun! Thanks for the ride, Doug! You're welcome, Blippi! All right, see you later! Bye-bye! <laughs> oh, let's get out of here! He has another tour to go on! Oh. <laughs> that was so much fun, wasn't it? I know! Wow, we got to see a lot of cool things. We got to see that waterfall. Whoa, that water looks so fresh. Oh, and all that coral. Yeah, at the beach. Wow, I sure do love Hawaii. Wow, what a beautiful place. See it spinning up? Wow, and weren't those mountains really tall? They're way taller when you're up in the high sky, huh? Whoa, they're spinning so fast. <laughs> I hope the next tour, they have a great time. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I sure do love Hawaii, and I loved learning how helicopters work with you. Whoa. Well, if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. 
Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. All right. Aloha. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we're here at Yas Waterworld in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. <laughs> Yeah, this water park is amazing. There are water rides and big slides to go down. <laughs> but today, you and I have a special mission. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for a pearl. <laughs> well, not just any pearl, a really, really big pearl. It's called the mother pearl. <laughs> hey, will you help me look for it? <laughs> awesome, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no pearls here. <laughs> Hey, do you know what a pearl looks like? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a really tiny ball. <laughs> and that reminds me, do you know the story of the lost pearl? <laughs> yeah, it's a really fun story. <laughs> yeah, it's about a village where people used to dive for pearls. Yeah, they would dive to the ocean and find pearls in little oysters. <laughs> yeah, they would find the pearls and one day they found a really big pearl. Yeah, the mother pearl, and it brought them lots of good luck. But one day, a really big storm came. Whoa! <laughs> and they lost the pearl. We want to find it. <laughs> oh, hey, storm. That storm was so big, it was kind of like a tornado. <laughs> good thing they have a tornado right here. Let's go ride it. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. This place is so cool. <laughs> yeah, look. It's so rocky, and it looks like maybe there was a shipwreck here <laughs> with some treasure. <laughs> oh, and it looks like there's a water slide back there. Hey, I know. That water slide is called Dawama. Yeah, that's the Arabic word for tornado. Whoa! <laughs> hey, do you remember the story? Yeah, the story of the lost pearl they lost the mother pearl because a big storm, a big tornado, blew it away. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe if we ride this ride, we can find the mother pearl. <laughs> okay, let's take a closer look. Check it out! This slide is huge! <laughs> oh, do you see? It's so big. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe if we ride this ride, the mother pearl be down there. <laughs> do you notice? This slide is so colorful. <laughs> yeah. It's the colors blue and red. Woo! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. I'm going to go ride it. <laughs> Whoa. We made it to the top of Tulama. I can't wait to ride. Oh, <laughs> Hello. Hi. I'm Flippy. What's your name? My name is Irina. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Do you think I could go on the ride? Yes. They oh. exactly need one person to ride. <laughs> yeah, okay. Please join them. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Whoa. Take a closer look. Come on. <laughs> this place is awesome. Yeah, this tank of water is so big. There's all kinds of things in the water. Look. Hmm. It looks like hmm, there's a bowl and <laughs> some really big bricks. <laughs> oh, look, there's coral. Ooh, <laughs> coral so beautiful. <laughs> hey, do you see that right there? Whoa, do you know what that is? That's an oyster. Yeah, an oyster is a sea creature. Whoa, and an oyster makes pearls. Beautiful pearls, yeah. Sometimes a little thing that bothers an oyster like sand gets in its mouth. 
Hmm. <laughs> but after a long time, the oyster turns that little piece of sand, or whatever it is, <laughs> into a beautiful pearl. <laughs> oh, hey, you know what? I bet this is where people dive for pearls. Oh, dive for oysters. <laughs> yeah, they find the oysters with the pearls inside. Whoa! Hello! <laughs> well, look, it's a person. <laughs> Whoa, and look, he's diving. Yeah. Oh, I think he wants me to come with him. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, hi. hi, I'm Flippy. What's your name? My name's Silas. Oh, it's nice to meet you. And are you the diving instructor? Yes, please. <laughs> please keep diving. Where are you gonna be diving? Find oysters. Oysters? <laughs> Is it okay if I come in the pool? Yes, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, check it out. It's a mask. Yes. Oh. So you have to check it, put, your, put it on, then check. <laughs> yeah, we want to put on the mask first before we start diving. Mm. So, here we go. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> they don't fit over my glasses, I think so. I need to take off your glasses. <laughs> yeah, you got to take those off first. Whoa! <laughs> Look! Alright, now oh. check it. Just put your head in water and check if oh. it's safe for you. Okay, yeah. We don't want to get any water in our mask. So, here we go! <laughs> yeah! The oh. water getting inside. Yeah. Alright, so now, before you dive in, you need to equalize. Oh. So you need to pop your ears to be more oh. safe. Did you hear that? Yeah, it's called equalizing your ears. <laughs> when you dive in the water, if it's really deep, it feels kind of uncomfortable on your ears, so... Pop your ears. <laughs> you can pop your ears out, yeah. Ah, feels nice and relaxing. <laughs> All right, are you ready? I think I'm ready. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Time to dive for some oysters. Yes, are you ready to dive for the oysters? <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Ooh, let's see how many we can find. All right. Here we go. <laughs> let's go. live. Ooh. Do you remember the story of the lost pearl? <laughs> yeah, there was a big tornado. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and then they lost the mother pearl. You know what happened next? Yeah, bandits came and took the mother pearl. <laughs> that was not very nice. <laughs> hey, do you know what a bandit is? Yeah, a bandit is someone who takes things that don't belong to them. Whoa, and look. Whoa, there's a bandit! Whoa! Whoa! Run! Ah! Woo! Keep your eyes open. You need to find the mother pearl. Hmm. Oh, hello! <laughs> hi! It's Donna! Oh, hi, Donna! I'm Blippi! <laughs> Do you 
you remember the story of the lost pearl? Yeah, the pearl was lost because of a tornado. It was taken by bandits, but it was found. Yeah, found by Donna. <laughs> Thanks, Donna. Well, we've also been looking for the mother pearl today. You think you can help us find it? <gasps> you can? <laughs> Great. Well, do you know where it is? Oh, you do? Where is it? Oh, whoa, check it out! It's up there! It's been here this whole time! <laughs> oh, well, thank you for helping us find it, Donna. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> oh, that was amazing! I had so much fun today at Yas Waterworld in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, we did some pretty cool things. We rode the tornado, we met a bandit, we went diving for pearls, and Donna helped us find the mother pearl! <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Philippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we get to go on this really big boat. Whoa, it's enormous! <laughs> yeah! I'm so excited because you and I are here at Pier Dolphin Cruises in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we get to explore and learn about all kinds of sea creatures and maybe see some dolphins! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> yeah! Let's go! <laughs> hey! We made it onto the boat! <laughs> yeah! This boat is awesome, because it's not a regular boat. This is a really big boat for lots of people. It's called a catamaran. <laughs> yeah, look at all the seats. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this over here. Yeah, this is a really giant net. Whoa, <laughs> but this net, this isn't for catching fish, no. This net is really important in case you drop something over the side. You can just pick it up, woo, <laughs> so it doesn't get lost. Woo! <laughs> okay, we'll put this net back here. Whoa, and check it out! Yeah, it's a giant brush! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so silly. This brush isn't a toothbrush. No, this brush is really good cleaning the boat. You can scrub it nice and clean from dirt, or maybe if there are barnacles. Yeah, we'll scrub like this. <laughs> Squeaky clean, yeah. Okay, we'll put the brush back. I think we did enough cleaning for today. Whoa, let's see what else there is. Whoa, do you see it? Look at this! The ceiling is my favorite color orange! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, and this is a really important ceiling. Yeah, it has a lot of life vents. Look at it. Whoa. Yeah, these life vests are super important because if you're ever in the water, they help you to float. <laughs> you can put them on just like this. Hello! And then you take a clip And then you're all clipped in and can say super safe. <laughs> yeah. But look, it's some captain's hats. Whoa, <laughs> one hat and two hats. Whoa, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's my friend, Captain Christian. And he is a real life captain. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Uh, but what is a captain exactly? Well, it's a very important job. We drive the boat around. We make sure everybody's safe, and we make sure everybody has a great time on our boat. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a really awesome job. And maybe one day, when you grow up, you can be a captain too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Captain Christian, it looks like it's really complicated driving a boat. There's all these buttons and levers. Yes, there's a lot. Whoa. Right over here, these are called a throttle. Oh, cool. And the throttle, if you push it forward, the boat goes forward. And if you pull it back, the boat goes backwards. OK, let's try it. We'll push the throttle forward. Yeah, and that makes the boat go forward. And 
That makes it go backwards. Okay, cool. <laughs> and this is a steering wheel. Very important part of the boat. And it turns the boat to the right or to the left. You want to try it? Yeah, I want to try it. Here we go. I think I'm almost ready to be a captain. <laughs> but look at this. It looks just like a steering wheel on a car. Except this one's really big because <laughs> it's a really big boat. Whoa. <laughs> and what about this right here? That's the compass. That tells us what's north, south, east, and west in which direction we want to go. Whoa. That's so cool. It tells you all the different directions and where to go. <laughs> hey, and look, there's a microphone. Hello. Hello. Welcome aboard, everyone. Captain Blippi. <laughs> So silly. <laughs> hey! I am so excited to see dolphins with you today. But first, I think you and I should learn more about ocean animals. Good thing I'm here with my good friend, Mackenzie Mungai. <laughs> yeah! She's a real life marine biologist. Ooh. Uh, hi, Mackenzie. Hi. <laughs> Mackenzie, what exactly does a marine biologist do? A marine biologist is somebody who studies the ocean and aims to protect it. Ooh, and what's your favorite part about being a marine biologist? My favorite part about being a marine biologist is being able to study it and educate others about the importance of protecting it so that we can ensure the longevity of our planet. Whoa, that sounds really, really important. <laughs> hey, well, we're trying to learn about ocean animals. Maybe Mackenzie can help us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, it looks like we have some sea creatures here. What's this guy called? This one is a horseshoe crab, and this is my favorite animal in our touch tank today. Whoa! Can I pick him up? Of course. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm going to be very gentle, though. Hello, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. Whoa! Look at all his legs. <laughs> yeah. How many legs does he have? Whoa. Hey, let's count the horseshoe crab's legs together. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has ten legs. Whoa, that's a lot of legs. A lot of legs. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Mackenzie, look. It looks like he has all these barnacles on his back. He does have Whoa. all of these barnacles on his back. The reason that he has these barnacles is because barnacles are parasites. So they do attach to the animals in the ocean that are very slow moving and our horseshoe crabs are pretty slow moving. So they have tons of barnacles attached to them, but they're also a great health indicator because if they attach to animals in the ocean that should be moving pretty fast, mm -hmm. it's normally an indication that those animals are probably sick. Whoa, so if you see a turtle that's supposed to go really fast with barnacles, then maybe the turtle is sick and needs a doctor. Whoa, <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty cool. I like you, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. I'm gonna put you back in the water. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, and Mackenzie, I think I know what this is right here. Hey, hello. <laughs> Look, this is a starfish. It is. Whoa, look at how cool he is. His back is kind of like a greenish gray color. And his belly, whoa, his belly is the color yellow. <laughs> oh, Mackenzie, whoa, <laughs> he's kind of tickly. What are all these little pokey things? All of his little pokey things are called his tube feet, and that is how he will be able to move across the seafloor. Whoa, he has a lot of really cool tube feet. Here, look. Whoa. <laughs> okay, horse, uh, this starfish is pretty cool, and so is the horseshoe crab. I'm gonna put him back in the tank now. Okay, bye-bye, starfish. Whoa, and it looks like there are a lot of shells in here. Whoa, there's one right here, and this one, whoa, is really <laughs> heavy. It looks kind of like a rock. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. What are these kind of shells? So this one that is heavy like a rock is a clam shell. Whoa, it's a clam shell. And, and what about this one? And this one is called a king's crown conch. And these are two different species of shells, but they're also in two separate classifications. This one has two identical matching halves, just like your hands. You put them together, it's a bivalve. Just like the clam. Whoa, and is this a bivalve too? This one's not a bivalve. This one's called a mollusk. It does not have Whoa. two identical matching halves. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Bivalve mollusk. <laughs> and this one looks like it has a king's crown on its head. King Blippi <laughs> with the really cool mollusk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> well, these are pretty cool shells, but I'm going to let them go back into the water. Whoa, 
Mackenzie, check this out. Look at this guy. It looks like he's in a mollusk shell. But he is. He's, he's not a sea snail. He's not. This is a hermit crab. And the hermit crab is different from the mollusk because the mollusk are snails, but they will also make their own home. So Whoa. they do make their own shells. Whoa. These ones just borrow the homes from them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hermit Crab. <laughs> He's just borrowing his home. He didn't make him himself, but he sure is pretty cute. <laughs> uh, whoa, and it looks like he has a little pincher there. I don't want to get pinched, so <laughs> I'm going to put him back in the tank. Okay, bye-bye, Mr. Hermit Crab. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, Mackenzie, look at this. This is a really big shell. What kind of creature is it? This one is called a lightning whelk. Ooh. You mind if I hold it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Hello, lightning whelk. Whoa. Hey, Mackenzie, is this also a mollusk? It is also a mollusk. Whoa, it's so big, just like the small mollusk. And it has one of these things, too. Uh, what's this exactly? So this is its foot, but it's also called an operculum. And it's entirely made out of Keratin. It's the same thing as your fingernail. Whoa! Operculum. Hmm, that's a really big word, but I'll just call it the snail's foot. Yeah! <laughs> hey, a lot of these sea creatures also have feet, just like you and I. That's pretty neat. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put this guy back in the water. Whoa, it's been pretty <laughs> cool learning about all these different sea creatures. Well, Mackenzie, what are those right there? So these are sponges. Do you notice Ooh. the difference between the two of them? Well, this one right here looks kind of new. <laughs> it's the color yellow. Um, what about this one? Well, this one, hmm, it looks like a sponge, but it's a little bit dirty. It mm. is dirty. Oh. I just found this one. This one's fresh off the beach. They are living here in Tampa Bay. Ooh. And they're really great for our environment because they're able to filter hundreds of gallons of water every single day. Can you find anything out of the ordinary on this sponge? Whoa, look at this sponge. It filtered a lot of things out of the water. Look, there's some blue string and yarn, and it looks like a little piece of grass too. Whoa, that's so awesome, Mackenzie, that you found this one in the ocean. Whoa, and this one looks like someone cleaned it out, right? Yeah, exactly. So we do take our sponges, we do harvest them here in Florida, and we get them clean and you are able to use them in the shower Ooh. or to do your dishes as well. <laughs> <laughs> or even maybe to wash your car. <laughs> wow, sponges are so cool. <laughs> Thanks so much, Mackenzie. Of course. Whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those sea creatures. And now I think it's time for you and I to look at some dolphins. But we're going to make sure that we look at the dolphins out in their natural habitat because we always want to be kind and respectful to all the sea creatures that we see. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I think it's time for us to go sailing! Come on! <laughs> I am so excited to set sail! <laughs> yeah! Let's go help Captain Christian undock the boat! Come on! <laughs> hey, Captain Christian! Hey, Blippi! Whoa, what are you doing? We're getting ready to untie all the dock lines and head out into the bay. <laughs> yeah! I am so excited to see some real dolphins! <laughs> well, what's this right here? That's a cleat. So any knot that's tied properly will be able to come undone no matter how much pressure's on it. Oh, cool. So we just push it open like this, take Whoa. it off the cleat. That was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, this is the bow line. That means, bow means the front of the boat. And then these are the fenders, and then we're gonna put those inside. These keep the boat from banging against the dock. Okay, <laughs> whoa, these are pretty big fenders. Yeah, good job. Whoa, <laughs> we All did right. it. Go ahead on board. Okay. <laughs> So Captain Christian's gonna start up the engine and I'm gonna go look for some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! the boat all over the ocean, we finally found some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! Let's look! Let's see if we can spot them. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see the dolphin? Yeah! Hello! 
we see the dolphins! Look, it looks like they're friends! Hello, dolphins! Whoa! <laughs> this is so cool! Whoa, look! They're so close! Hello! They're swimming under the boat! Look at what we found! Yeah, this is a seabird sanctuary, and it's called Bird Island because no one else is allowed to go on it. It's just for the birds. <laughs> and this island is filled with a lot of birds. Last year, over 1,500 birds hatched! Whoa! <laughs> and that's a lot of birds. <laughs> and there's all different kinds that live here. Let's see if we can take a closer look. Whoa, look at all the birds. These birds right here are really beautiful because they have really fancy feathers and they're the color white. Their names are the egrets. <laughs> and they like to nest together because mm, it keeps them safe and because they're friends. <laughs> and look, they've made little nests out of different branches and twigs so that they can put their eggs there. And after the eggs are laid, they hatch. And you have lots of little baby egrets. Ooh, so cute. Whoa. And look over here. There are also some pink birds. They're called roseate spoonbills. Hmm. Let's see if we can see those. <laughs> yeah. And they're called spoonbills because their mouths or their beaks have really silly ends to them. It's kind of rounded like a spoon. <laughs> so you might eat soup. But the spoonbills, they like to eat their food with their spoon-like beak. <laughs> yeah. And they eat all kinds of things like insects, fish, and even frogs. Ribbit, woo! <laughs> well, this is really cool thing up close. Oh, did you see that? Look, it's a little baby egret. Yeah, he's sitting just under his mama. Hello! <laughs> Whoa, this bird island is really cool. Not only are there roseate spoonbills and egrets, there are also pelicans. Hmm. I don't know if I see any pelicans yet, but keep your eyes open and maybe we can spot one. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I'm gonna keep looking at the birds and see if we can find a pelican. This right here is one of the birds that lives on Bird Island. It's called a pelican. Ooh. Pelicans are really cool because when they're born, they are hatchlings. They hatch out of eggs and they're really small, like the size of a baseball. <laughs> and they don't have any feathers, so they look kind of funny. <laughs> but after about a month, these pelicans will grow about the size of a football, start to get lots of feathers. <laughs> They're pretty amazing. Let's look. Whoa. And come here, there's even co more cool birds. Yeah, see this black bird over here? That bird is called an anhinga. Ooh, that's a tricky word to say, anhinga. Well, look, a pelican! Hello, Mr. Pelican! <laughs> well, the anhinga is pretty amazing because they dive really deep into the water to catch their food. They like to eat crabs and also fish, just like a pelican. The cool thing about the anhinga is they're really, really good at holding their breath. So, when they go under water, they can catch the crabs and fish and they can hold their breath. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And he's just hanging out in the sun. Hello, Mr. Nhinga. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm going to keep seeing if I can discover any more birds. Hey, 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 I had so much fun with you today learning about all kinds of marine animals. <laughs> yeah, we saw dolphins and birds and all types of creatures that crawl on the sea floor. <laughs> yeah. And we saw some really cool people who did some really amazing jobs, like a captain or a marine biologist. Whoa, it was so much fun. <laughs> Seeing those dolphins in real life was amazing. <laughs> they were so cool. Whoa, look at this. It's time for a bubbles lab. And today, we're going to make an ocean in a bottle. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. So many shells, little animals. When you shake it up, whoa, <laughs> it looks like the ocean. <laughs> okay, 
we get to make one of our own. We'll start with a water bottle. And I made sure to take off all the different stickers and things that are on the outside so you can see right through it. <laughs> okay, first, we need water. So I'm going to take one cup of water, pour it in here. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Look at it go! It's already looking like the ocean. <laughs> and we want to make it look like the actual ocean, so we're going to put a little bit of blue food coloring. Just one drop. One. And maybe we'll put a second drop. Ooh, <laughs> that's just the right amount. And now we're going to pour it in the bottle. Be really careful. This is a little tricky. Woo, we did it. <laughs> Look, all the water in the bottle. <laughs> this is so cool. And now it's my favorite part. We have seashells <laughs> and sea creatures. Oh. <laughs> all kinds. Look, we have jellyfish. <laughs> we have, whoa, an octopus. Hmm, <laughs> they're so silly looking. Yeah. We have some crabs. <laughs> crabs and, mm, yeah, let's put in a, a sea turtle. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so let's grab our animals and we want to get some shells too. So. Just pick out whatever shells look really cool. We have a white shell. Whoa, look, this one's like a little spiral shell. Hmm, and I'll just grab a couple more. <laughs> okay, now we take our shells, put them in the bottle, and now our sea creatures. Turtle, octopus, Jellyfish! <laughs> and hermit crab. Bye! -bye. <laughs> Once you have all your shells, animals in the water, the only thing left is we need to put in some oil. But first, I think that needs a little more water. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah! <laughs> That's just the right amount. And now we can put in some oil. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. The oil's gonna help make lots of bubbles. Because oil and water, they don't like to mix. <laughs> Almost to the top. Almost to the top. <laughs> Whoa. We're almost done. This looks amazing. <laughs> Okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure this doesn't get really messy. Mm -mm. We want to keep it nice and clean. So we're going to take some of this plumber's tape and I just wrap it around the top of the bottle so that no water or oil will leak out. Then you can ask a grown-up to use scissors to make a little cut and now we can put on the cap. <laughs> and to be extra safe, we're going to use tape. And this tape is my favorite color. It's the color orange. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use a little tape. And yeah, just wrap it around. Make sure no oil, water, get out. We don't want to mess. Okay. <laughs> then press the tape and you have an ocean in a bottle. Whoa. And my favorite part, shaking it up. Whoa. Look at it. It looks like the animals are swimming around the bottle really fast in the ocean. <laughs> and the shells, they stay bottom, just like in real life. 
This was so much fun. We made an ocean in the bottle. We saw dolphins in real life. We visited Bird Island and did so many amazing things learning about sea creatures. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. E-L-I. P-P-I! Flippy! Good job! Well, I'll see you soon! Bye-bye! <laughs> Woo! Woo! They have a lot of fun rides! Yes, and I love going on rides! <laughs> Me too! Have you ever been on a ride before? <laughs> yeah! Oh, let's go! Come on! Wow! So cool! <laughs> wow! Look, look at this place! <laughs> excited for some rides! Me too! What ride are you most excited for? Oh, oh I hope they have a carousel! <laughs> oh, cool, yeah, with all those horses! Yeah, what about you? Uh, maybe a roller coaster! Whoa. Yeah! Wait, what's that sound? I don't know! Whoa, cool! A, a train! train. Wow. wow! Wow, this looks like this could be our very first ride! Yeah, let's do it! Whoa, all right! Here you are, Blippi! Oh, thank you! Whoa! Oh. Yeah! I like this train! It's the color red! Yeah, and I like this big green stripe that goes across! Oh, yeah, and the two yellow stripes! Mm -hmm, very <laughs> nice! And what do we say? All aboard! <laughs> Whoa, wow. this is so cool! Yeah! Choo choo! <laughs> what a fun way to see the park! Whoa! Whoa! They go really high! Whoa, that looks fun! Whoa! Wow! Wow! I'm Whoa. so excited to ride all these rides! Me too, and Blippi, I think I found your roller coaster! Whoa! Cool! <laughs> A roller coaster! Whoa! It's orange and yellow! I'm hey. definitely gonna ride that one You later. love orange! <laughs> yeah! I do! <laughs> Whoa! We're in a tunnel! It's like we're in a mining cave! Yeah! This is awesome! And look! Water! A waterfall! Oh! Oh! That looks so refreshing! Yeah! It's really pretty here! Whoa! Whoa! Where are we now? Oh! It looks like the jungle! Whoa! Cool! Cool! Hey! Ooh. The train station! Oh, yeah! We've arrived! Yeah! Wow, what a fun <laughs> ride that was! It really was! Oh! Alright! Here we are! <laughs> well, okay. shall we go see what other rides they have here? Yeah, I can't wait to see which one we're gonna go on next! Alright, let's go! Okay, here you go! Thank you! <laughs> Ride. Yeah, it looks awesome! Look at those smiley faces! Yeah! This ride is the Giggle Wheel! Oh, that makes sense! <laughs> yeah, shall we ride it? Yeah, let's do it! Alright! Hmm. Whoa! Would you like to go first or me? Oh, I'll get in first if you don't mind! Alright! <laughs> Whoa, thank you! Alright, buckle up! Thank you! Whoa! See ya, Blippi! See ya! Whoa! I'm up really high! Yeah, you are! All right! Here we go! Thank you very much! Woohoo! All right! Thank you! All right, I'm buckled up! Here I come, Mika! Whoa! <laughs> now you're going up high! Yeah, and you're down low! <laughs> Oh, 
Wow! This giggle wheel was so much fun! Yeah! <laughs> Go now. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Ready to ride the carousel? Yeah. yeah. Thank in. you. Like All right. Mm, All right. Let's see. Here we go. Whoa. Cool. There's so many different colors to choose from. Yeah. This I one. really like this one. Really? I like this purple and this blue here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And yellow and green. Yeah. <laughs> I love all of these colors so much. Yeah. I love horses. You do? Do yeah. you know what sound a horse makes? I do, I okay, do. Okay, show them. <laughs> Nay. <laughs> yeah. That's <was> very good. <laughs> Nay. Nay. <laughs> okay, so is this the one that you want to ride? I think so. Okay, <laughs> and let's see. Maybe I'll ride this one. Oh, yeah. Whoa, check it out, Mika. Whoa. <gasps> yeah. This horse is black. Yeah! Look at the bright green right there on the saddle. Yeah. Oh, and it even has gold and red. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. This is a very cool looking horse, Blippi. Great choice. Uh, thanks. Well, shall we? Let's do it. <laughs> First, we have to buckle up for safety. That's right. All right. All right, <laughs> buckle in. Me too. All right. <laughs> Giddy up, horsey! All right, I'll race ya! All right, <laughs> giddy up! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. Giddy up, horsey! Giddy Woo up! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! I'm coming for you, Blippi! Oh, it's like we're racing! <laughs> yeah! We're riding horses in the countryside. Oh, I love it. Wind blowing through our hair, That's fresh right. air. We have fun. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Yeehaw! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Woohoo! Get <laughs> up, horsey! Whoa! I think the ride's over, Mika. Yeah, I think so too. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Yep. Well, since it's over, do you want to see what other rides they have? Yeah, let's check it out. All right. Okay, here we go. All right, see you later. Have a good day. <laughs> Whoa, Mika, check this out. Wow, what's over here? Wow, a lot of mist. Wow, mist? Yeah. Mist, that's just really teeny, teeny, tiny particles of water. Well, well what do we do? You want to go inside? Yeah. Yeah, come on. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. All right, here we go. Cart. Hmm, what cart should we ride? 
Huh. Hey, how about the blue cart? Yeah, it's one of my two favorite colors. You knew that already, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> He's just making sure everything is nice and safe. And he made sure this is tight. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah. Wow, we were going so fast. <laughs> Woohoo! I wonder what Mika is up to. <laughs> for the chickens inside the coop. Let's see. It says it's 25 cents and I have a quarter. <laughs> All right, let's see. Whoa, look. It brought out some food for the chickens. All right, chickens, are you hungry? Here you go. Here's a yummy snack for you. <laughs> That chicken looks really hungry. Eat up. Snack time. It looks like it's some dried corn. Nice and healthy. Oh, you want a little bit more? Here you go. Wow. There's so many different kinds of chickens in here. Like a white one. That one looks black and has some orange feathers in there. Whoa! Nice to meet you, chickens. What other animal friends are here? Hmm. Let's go look. Bye, chickens. Nice meeting you. Let's see if there are more animals here. Come on. Whoa! Goats! Hi, goats. I'm Mika. Oh, look. There's some snacks for the goat. Oh, here you go. Ooh, this goat's really hungry. <laughs> oh, look, it's in an ice cream cone. I didn't know goats like ice cream cones. <laughs> Let's go inside and hang out with them. Come on. It says, enter. I guess we can. Oh, take this little brush with us. Hi, goats. Hi. Who wants a nice brush? Come on over. Come on. <laughs> Come on over. Nope. Oh. Hmm. Maybe they don't want to get brushed. Sometimes I don't like to get my hair brushed either. <laughs> Let's see. Aw, so nice. And it's so soft. It's really good to take care of animals. See how nice its hair looks? Oh, hi. Oh, you want some love too? I'll brush you so you look nice and clean. Aw, this is so cool. We can ride rides and hang out with animals. This place is amazing. I wonder if Blippi went on the big roller coaster. Let's find out. <laughs> Bye, goats. Thanks for hanging out with me. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, hey, Mika! Hey, Blippi! Oh, how was your time? Oh, it was really fun. I got to see super cute goats. Oh, that is so cool. 
cool. Yeah. I got to ride the freeway coaster. Whoa, did you like it? Yeah, it was really intense. Oh, I'm <laughs> glad that you liked it. Oh, thanks, Mika. Well, shall we hop back on the train? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. There it is. Cool. <laughs> Did you like all these rides? Awesome. Yeah! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with us? Yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I -P -P -I, Flippy! Will you spell my name with me? Great! M-E-E-K-A-H Mika! Mika. Yeah! All right, see you again. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Woo. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and today I'm at Chocolat in Leavenworth, Washington. And today, since you and I ate our vegetables, we're gonna make some chocolate and caramel. I am so excited. Let's go. Hey, who are you? Hey, Blippi, my name's Andrew. Ooh. Welcome to Chocolat. Nice to meet you. What do you have here? Uh, we have all sorts of truffles and bonbons, all handmade right here on site. Wow, they look so tasty. Look at that. Oh, I just want to eat them all up. Whoa! What do you say, Blippi? Do you want to make some chocolates today? Yeah, let's go! Wow! All of these candies look so yummy. Hey, and did you notice how all of these have different shapes? Yeah, let's check them out. Whoa, do you see this one? What shape is that? Yeah, look at it closer. Yeah, that is a square. <laughs> yeah, and it's really cool how all of these have different fillings on the inside. Ooh, look at this swirl. Wow, yeah. What shape is this? Yeah, it's a circle. Perfect, good job. Ooh, wow, a sign of love. <laughs> oh, so cute. What shape is this? Yeah, it's a heart. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, and these are really cool looking. Wow, yeah, it's not a normal shape. This is a unique shape. Yeah, and this thing? Yeah, this thing is unique to every single one. Yeah, this is a leaf. Yeah, every leaf has different veins and different structures and every single one looks a little bit different from each other. Whoa, look at these. These even have little pieces of gold on them. Wow. <laughs> yeah, what shape is this? Yeah, it's another leaf. <laughs> it's from a different type of tree, I'm sure. <laughs> well, they all look so yummy, but I can't eat them yet. We have some more learning to do. Yeah! Whoa, check it out. Here is the kitchen. 
kitchen. Yeah, I am so excited to make some chocolate. Okay, first thing I need to do is put on an apron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is worn. Make sure that your clothes do not get dirty and sticky. <laughs> How do I look? Yeah, I look ready. <laughs> Whoa, not ready yet because we need to wash our hands. All right, it is very important to wash your hands if you're going to work with food, make candy. Yeah, perfect. You have to scrub them, get underneath the nails. Okay, now we get to rinse it off. All that soap. Oh, yeah. You're nice and clean. Perfect. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, hey, look at who it is. Who are you? Hi, I'm Carissa. Oh, nice to meet you. What are you doing right here? Well, today we'll be we're making some caramels. Ooh, caramel? I love caramel. Have you ever had caramel before? Yeah, it's so yummy. Will you show us? Sure thing. Let's go ahead and make some. chocolate on them. <laughs> Whoa, I love chocolate and I love caramel. So what we're going to do is take these caramel pieces and dip them in chocolate and then sprinkle some sea salt on top. Yum! <laughs> okay, let's set that down right there. Let's take the fork. Let's grab this piece. First, you need to Dip the fork in the chocolate. Yeah, there we go. And we have a little chocolate right there. Put the caramel, dip it in, and then you start tapping. Yeah! <laughs> wow, that looks so good. All right, a little bit more. Okay, you don't want too much chocolate on that or else it'll be a goopy mess. So, put it down just like that. Oh, not the best, but not too bad for my first one. And then let's sprinkle some salt right on top. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> All right, let's try another one. That was fun. I am 
so excited to try these later. How do those look? I think they look yummy! to sprinkle on top, put it on the inside, and then when it cools, we're gonna eat them! <laughs> okay, first let's uh, make a healthy one, okay? So how about let's take some of these almonds. Okay, and then we have some cherries right here. Oh, this is fun! <laughs> it's like decorating, but decorating with food. And then... How about some pistachios? Yeah, pistachios is another type of nut. Yeah, that one looks like a yummy and pretty healthy chocolate bar <laughs> with nuts and fruit. <laughs> All right, okay, how about another one? This one, let's, uh, yeah, I think we should have some marshmallows. I love marshmallows. <laughs> okay, now we can use some peanut butter chips and sprinkle them on top. Yum, this is gonna be so yummy. <laughs> All right, and then let's use a little bit of pretzels. Wow, this is so much fun. All right, there we go. One more. Perfect. And then let's do a couple banana chips. Have you ever had a banana before? Yeah, banana is a type of fruit. Yeah, they're pretty yummy. And banana chips are really yummy too. All right, that one looks good. So let's do the last one. And let's have some fun and put some colorful sprinkles on it. All right, here we go. Okay, now we're going to need to put it in the fridge to cool down. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was so much fun decorating those chocolate bars with you. <laughs> well, now we need to wait some time to let the chocolate cool. What do we do? Okay, I think that's enough time. So let's go get the chocolate bars. Whoa! Look at them! Wow! Okay, now let me knock them out. All right, so here we go. Whoa, look at them, they're perfect. All right, here is the first one. Wow, it looks so yummy. And then here is the second one. Whoa, yeah, wow, <laughs> this is so much fun. That's okay. It's still gonna taste just as good. I am so excited to eat these. <laughs> yeah! Wow! Check it out. Yeah, we did such a good job. Whoa, check out this room. 
Looks like they have a lot of boxes in here with some ribbons. Ooh, a bunch of stickers. Wow. Oh, hey, look at who it is. Hey, who are you two? I'm Tilly. I'm Molly. Oh, nice to meet you two. What are you two doing? We're boxing up some chocolates. Oh, can I see? Sure. <laughs> Did you see how they put the rest of the chocolates in the base? And now they're putting the tops on. Check it out. And do you see what they're doing now? Yeah, now that the boxes are fully enclosed, now they're tying ribbons all around it to make it look pretty. <laughs> they did such a great job boxing up this box of chocolates. Do you like it? Yeah, it's so yummy. But hey, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. Now it's time to eat some chocolates. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today we're here on the River Thames in London, England. And I am so excited because we're riding on a party boat where we can dance <laughs> and have tea parties. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. We better go inside because it's a little bit chilly. <laughs> wow, this is gonna be so much fun. We're gonna go down the River Thames. Yeah, it's a really long river. It's actually the longest river in England. It's 200. 14 miles long! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, and maybe we'll see some amazing sights all over the city. We might even get to go under some bridges. <laughs> so keep your eyes open. Wow, there are so many cool buildings to see when you're on the Thames. <laughs> yeah, look at this building. Whoa, it's called the Walkie Talkie. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello, Blippi. Hello, Blippi. <laughs> yeah. You know why it's called the Walkie Talkie? Look. Whoa, it's shaped just like a Walkie Talkie. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, and look at this building. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> it's so tall. Yeah, it's made out of glass and metal and it's very triangular. <laughs> Whoa, and look over here. Do you see that? Yeah, that bridge right there is the London Bridge. Whoa, have you heard of the London Bridge before? <laughs> I bet you've heard the song, London Bridge is Falling Down. <laughs> I like that song too. There are awesome bridges. And speaking of bridges, I think I see a bridge coming up. Whoa. This bridge is really, really big. It's called Tower Bridge. <laughs> yeah. We're almost there. <laughs> Whoa. Look, it's the HMS Belfast. Wow. That boat is a little bigger than the boat we're on now. <laughs> it's really big. Wow. And it's so many colors. Yeah. It looks like different shades of blue, light blue, dark blue, Gray? Whoa. <laughs> we made it to another bridge. Yeah, it's called Tower Bridge, and it is so big and so cool. Look at it. Tower Bridge has big towers, but it's also a bridge, so cars can drive over it, and boats can float under it. It's so tall. Yeah, and so beautifully built. It looks old with stones and flags. <laughs> Whoa! Look at it! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 
Oh, and do you see that? Yeah. Right there in the center of the bridge, it breaks. Yeah. There's two parts of the bridge. It's a bascule bridge. Mm -hmm. And that means that the bridge can open up <laughs> and make really a lot of room. For if there are big boats, they can just sail through the center. Yeah, it's a bascule bridge. <laughs> it opens up. <laughs> This was so much fun, taking off from the dock and going down the River Thames. Hmm. But I think it's getting a little chillier. Yeah, it's pretty cold out. So let's go inside, and see what's on the inside of the boat. <laughs> Whoa, we're inside the boat. <laughs> yeah, and it looks like I'm still getting my sea legs. Whoa, <laughs> so bumpy. Yeah. <laughs> hey. And look where we are. It looks like we're on a dance floor. Yeah. There's some wood floors so you can dance on it. <laughs> and there are speakers. And it looks like some really cool lights to have a dance party. Whoa. <laughs> but let's wait until it gets dark so all the lights look even better. <laughs> I wonder what's behind these two doors. Fun. Hello. Hi, can I come up there? Push again. Whoa! Looks like it's where the captain is. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Hello! Hi, what's your name? I'm John. John, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Blippi. I'm Blippi. <laughs> oh, John, are you the captain of the boat? I am, yes. Whoa, this is a really cool boat you have. Whoa, and what's this right here? It's a steering wheel. Whoa, it looks really cool. <laughs> And old. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Whoa. Is it fun being a captain of a boat? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> would you like to have a drive? <gasps> Whoa, would I? That would be awesome. <laughs> Whoa. I'm driving and steering the boat. <laughs> so if I want to go to the left, do I just turn the wheel? Yeah, yeah. Not too much. Just a little bit at a time. Okay. Whoa. And now the boat's going to the left. And if I want to go to the right, just a little bit at a time. <laughs> Don't want to go too fast. You can go a bit more that way to the right. Whoa! <laughs> I'm steering the boat! Whoa! John, this is awesome! <laughs> no worries. Whoa! And what do these up here do? These are your engine revs and speed and fuel and Whoa. navigation lights for when it's dark. Whoa, that's so cool! There are navigation lights if it's dark, and it tells you how much fuel you have. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's probably good that John is steering the boat. <laughs> He's a really good captain. <laughs> wow, well, thank you for letting me drive the boat. <laughs> no problem. I'll see you soon. See you soon, Blippi. Whoa! That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we better let John, the captain, steer the boat. <laughs> we should go exploring. Let's go downstairs. Come on. <laughs> Check it out, look, it's the Cuddy Sark. Whoa, it's so fast and big and so old. <laughs> yeah, this boat was one of the fastest boats of its time over 150 years ago. Yeah, it was a boat that could do the China Tea Run. Yeah, it would take tea from China and it would trade. And it would also do the Australian Wool Run. <laughs> Whoa. It was so fast and it's so old. <laughs> Hello, Cuddy Sark. Whoa, look at what it is. It's the Millennium Dome. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. It has yellow towers. They kind of look like spikes. And the dome is the color white. <laughs> yeah, the Millennium Dome is a great place to go see concerts and to eat yummy food. <laughs> hey, do you know what a millennium is? Yeah, a millennium is 1,000 years. 
So they built the Millennium Dome in the year 2000 to commemorate a new millennium. Whoa! And it opened in 1999 on New Year's Eve. Whoa! It's so cool. It looks like it was really hard to build this building. <laughs> Check it out! Oh, hi there, I'm Lippy. What's your name? Hi, I'm Josh. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Josh. What's this? This is your afternoon tea. Afternoon tea? <laughs> That's awesome! Thanks, Josh. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, check it out! Afternoon tea? That sounds so delicious. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, there are so many cool things here. <laughs> Whoa, look over here. Look, there are scones sandwiches, and sweet! <laughs> the three S's of an afternoon tea. Now yeah, look, here at the top, we have some very colorful macarons. And the most important part of a tea party is tea. <laughs> we have our teacup, a spoon, and a saucer. Ooh. <laughs> and <gasps> A tea kettle with tea! <laughs> okay, it's time to pour the tea. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it looks so tasty. Yeah, have you ever had tea before? Whoa! Ooh, I'm gonna wait to take a sip because it's so hot from the hot water. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start with some tasty treats. Hmm. What should we try first? I think, let's start, hmm, maybe. Ooh, I think I'm gonna start from the bottom. <laughs> yeah, look, we'll take a scone and I'm gonna pull it apart like this. Yeah, and spread some clotted cream and some jam on it. Mmm, tasty. Okay, it's time to try. Mm. Mm. Whoa, whoa, this scone was delicious. <laughs> it's so tasty. <laughs> well, I'll just take a bite because we have so many treats to try. Mm. Let's try a sandwich next. First, mm. we can try a cheese sandwich. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Do the cucumber sandwich. Ooh. <laughs> Yum! <laughs> Finally, I think this is the one. Whoa, a salmon sandwich. Whoa, look, it has cream cheese and salmon. Ooh. was delicious. We tried the scones and we tried the sandwiches. The only thing left are the sweets. I'm gonna take a spoon and take a little bite. Oh, time to try the sponge cake. Whoa, all the snacks at a tea party? <laughs> are so delicious. The only thing left for us to try is the tea. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so tasty. So refreshing. So delicious. <laughs> wow, I love having tea parties. So many yummy foods to eat and tea is so tasty and and the best part about a tea party is spending time with your friends. <laughs> Whoa, I've had so much fun seeing so many sights and dancing that it's nighttime now. Whoa, and check it out. Tower Bridge is right ahead. 
It is so beautiful at night. It's all lit up and you can see the cars driving over the bridge and boats like this one floating under the bridge. Yeah, are you ready? Here it comes. Hello. <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. It's so beautiful. It's all lit up in blue and white. <laughs> If it's nighttime, I bet the lights inside on the dance floor will be perfect. <laughs> I think we should go inside the boat and do some dancing. <laughs> DJ, let's go. Play some music. So much fun learning all about boats. Woo! <laughs> yeah, we had so much fun today. We rode a boat and saw so many amazing sights in London. And I even got to have a tea party <laughs> with you. It was so yummy and amazing. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay. B L I P P I Flippy. Good job. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Woo!